How's it going, everybody? We're back. Snow Runner. Snow Runner. Hard mode. Dodge Viper. In the game. Right now. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it. We're uh, picking up where we left off on my save game, which was. I do believe. Oh, why are you doing this game? Hold on. Everybody, let me fix this. Way to cock pick second hair. I hate when it does this sometimes. Just gotta deactivate it and reactivate it. Oh, okay. Still broken. Got a little bit of that deactivation. There we go. We're just going to do this right here now, and then we are going to fit to screen. Yeah, it's still broken. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I know what's going on. I know what's happening, Captain. Oh, God. Settings. Display. I had that HDR, that high dynamic range on, because I was playing soccer punk. There we go. All better. This goes over here. Get that back up. All right, we're good to go. Good to hook. All right. Fair enough. All right. So, yes. Oh, that's all fixed. I really need to fix this goddamn truck. Yes, we do have a bridge built. Did that accomplished that in the last time. Oh yeah, that was it, huh? Yeah. Built that and then it was, I think it's got for was... like in the stream. Yes indeed. So what's, what's so, next on the agenda? Alright, so these are all both dumb. Uh I believe it's the instruments of development is the next like main one that we have to do where we get the drilling equipment because out with the old we need to do harbor delivery harbor delivery we need to do instruments of development so it is yes instruments of development so those are where we get the uh, drilling equipment from the, the old rigs in Island Lake which is a blast it's an absolute great time um. Get this upgrade right quick, yeah. So two of my trucks are currently indisposed in Drummond Island right now. Which is the Western Star and one of my fleet stars. Okay, and that should have a carriage and a crane on it. Okay. I don't know. I think the problem is this thing has a. This Western Star has a fifth wheel on it. Actually, it might be a high saddle. Let me see if it is. Because if it is, that'll actually work out. So I'm going to go hook up to that big ass trailer because I'm right over here. I don't know for 100% sure, if it is the high saddle or not, though. Well, what'd you have on that truck? What was the last trailer? I don't know. Ooh, game? Hello? Uh-oh. Game crash? Is it, about to, is it about to shit out? It might what? shit out. Yep, it sure fucking did. Yep. Oh, shit. wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Yep, it shit out. Just fabulous. Fan Tuckadori. Way to go, Snow Runner. Way to crash. Oh no, I redid my 
greens now, it doesn't fit. There we go, close enough, I'll fix that later. Whoa. Whoops, ignore what I just sent you, Billy. I meant to hit the back button. Just trying to erase those random letters that I typed. Why does it always start me in Black River? Dumb. Western Star. Alright, as I was saying, I don't know for sure. Oh man, I'll see if I don't draw. <laughs> Melissa walked in behind me. I didn't realize I was streaming. That's funny. like one of those on-air lights. I don't know how far I'll be able to pull this then. Oh! Fucking A. God damn it. What? I just fucking like flew into the goddamn... Totally fuck the shit out of like your suspension entire. No, I mean yes, but it's fine. Not a big deal. Like blew it out or just like damaged it real bad? Just damaged it really bad. I might back me. It's gonna take forever. trailer. Let's haul this song, bitch. Is it the right thingy? Uh, I don't know yet. No, no in about 10 seconds here. I might have... God damn it! Are you kidding me? 
Well, there's a flat tire. Nope, and it's a low saddle. Oh my god, now I have a flat tire and a fucking broken ass truck. Because I ran into a concrete barrier at one mile an hour. There is that uh, service trailer that's down the road from that. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have enough gas to make it back there. Oh, you don't have enough fuel? Uh, I'm down to 18 gallons, so. Oh, you idiot, there's a stump there. Oh my god, I'm just beating this truck to shit right now. Okay, well. <laughs> While you were doing that, what the fuck did I even do? I don't have trucks anywhere. Um, well, I really don't need to be doing this right now at all. We need to we need to be heading to getting ready to do that mission and I lake. Are you going to be using that truck? Uh, no, I could use the Caterpillar. Because I'm going to need a trailer for it anyways. Driving this thing like an idiot, dude. Well, you know the steering's not very responsive when you have a blown, or responsive when you have a blown out tire. try to limp this bitch. I don't think I'm going to make it to the gas station, but I'm going to try. That's still two missions away. So I think it's a real rush. So we have this one and then harbor delivery and then that one. gallons. Let's see if I can make it to the gas station. I'm gonna be fucking coasting in if I do. We need to like not touch all wheel drive at all. We need to stay in fourth gear. I can't slow down. Slow down. Oh, I had to slow down. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Put in high. That appears 
just use less fuel. Oh my god, the gas station's right there, guys. God, when you don't have all-wheel drive mode in high, you use, like, barely any gas. That's, like, the go-to mode, I think. Western Star is fully repaired, fully refueled. Fleet Star's got some rando shit in it. I'm just gonna leave that there. Ah ha ha! I forgot I unlocked the beefy engine for the White Western Star in fucking Alaska. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually, because I have to get this truck back to the thing eventually anyway, so, and I'm right next to the entrance into that, so I'm going to bring this truck back through the gate into Island Lake, and I should be able to start. Which warehouse do these things have to go to? Which what's had what? The drilling equipment, what warehouse? The one that's right there. It's so easy. That mission is like 10 seconds because you can just keep going to that. It's the warehouse right next to the trailer oh, store, yeah, like right, right inside the map. It's Cakewalk. Okay, so I will start working on that because I will be able to. I remember I was using this truck to haul one of those blue trailers in the other map. So, and I know I left a couple empty ones because I know I robbed the um, metal beams off of at least one of them. I think two actually. So I will head back there. God damn it, that fucking ninja stump. I knew it was there. I fucking knew it was there, but it was too late. Oh, trucks all beat to shit again. Yay me. Anyway, so I'm gonna head back to Island Lane. I discovered the train. I can get up this way, or am I just gonna take a really dumb way for no reason? I just took a really dumb way for no reason. Now I have to go through a goddamn swamp and waste all the goddamn gas that I just got. And I'm 10 feet away from the goddamn gate. That doesn't sound like a very smart decision. Nope, it was not. But I mean, we're good. Alright. Alright. So this is my game plan. So I'm got my Western Star. I got my Brigadier. One has high saddle, one has low saddle. If you, while you're working on pulling uh, the three things over to um, the warehouse, the warehouse, I will grab one and start pulling it toward where we need to go put it in the port and then at the same time vice versa I'll have my high saddle track towing behind that bitch and then I can just hook right on to that big trailer I mean sure hey thank you James for the like alright so I am back and I am like I do have a empty blue trailer here that I tipped over there's a fuel trailer there there's another fuel trailer there's fucking fuel trailers ever on this goddamn man okay I 
saw a diff lock for this truck that I got the upgrade for, but it has not been back to the garage since, since then, so it eventually does need to get back to the garage. And I need to just spend the goddamn money to repair it so it doesn't look like a pile of shit, too, even though it's almost fully repaired. Uh, yeah, that is one thing they do need to make an update for. Yeah. Or, like, I think basically all they need to do is they need to change it so, like, you don't pay full price. Oh, my God, this is trying this thing. Like, they need to do it so you're paying for what needs to be repaired. Not you just pay one flat price and they just do it. Like, I don't understand it. God, why is this truck getting beat to shit so much on this road? So if you do put it in there like fully repaired, then you're only um, like paying for the cosmetic stuff. Yeah. You know, arguably, would be the most expensive part of the repair, anyways. so pretty with this white and the way I have it set up. It looks like asshole because it's all fucking beat to shit and it's not my fault because that's the way the truck comes. That one trailer, right where I left it, half turned over in a ditch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's fine. Hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do for those metal beams, man. Oh, is that one where? <laughs> yeah, I. You like tipped it over I to tipped, get the shit I out of it. I tipped it over to get the metal beams out of it, so I could. Now that's it. funny. We've done that before. We did that in that one trailer that had the stuff in it over in fucking uh, Black River. Yeah. be able to get it up, no problem. It's going to be... Why doesn't it have an attachment on the side? Okay. I should be able to get it up like that. Oops, hold on a second. Turn them beacons on. stuck right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Okay. Blue trailer acquired. Alright. I think the shittiest part about Island Lake is just getting to it yeah it's not that bad once because there's well i mean yeah it's not that bad but it's just annoying like, yeah because you either have to go along this you either have to go all the way up that mountain then go through drummond island to then get to it or you have to go through that shitty super tippy over path through the middle of that one island yeah or your third option of going down this other slightly less shitty left side of this island but then you have those super nasty mug bog holes that are at the one part of it. And there's a couple spots that are, I think, even more tippy than the entire fucking mountain trek. That one fucking spot on the cliffside where I always tip over is, like, just the worst. Right. on just a second. Oh boy. Thought 
she was going to fucking crash again. I'm actually going to go get one from here because I have to basically go here anyway, which is halfway to there, so. Oh, 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 that was a horrible quick winch game. Are you kidding me? I went to go ninja winch because my truck started to tip sideways and it winched to the side of the truck that the truck was tipping. Wow. <laughs> so it's making... That helped. Yeah, that's... Wow. That, like, really screwed me. Good thing I was fucking paying attention, and it wasn't that bad. Cause that could have been a disaster. Problem game. He's stuttering. Drilling equipment. Where the fuck is the manual loading platform here? Oh, it's way over there. How's it going, Kyle? Oh boy. Oh shit, I remember this being a freaking shady corner. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh, and I don't have dip lock, and it's. It's hurting me. Shit. I think I actually have to go around this guy. Oh no, that sucks. It's only three more liters. I hate it when you're like that close to fueling up. Those missions are like. You shouldn't need to, like, fill the tank completely, like, you just should have to just put gas in it, like. He's talking about, like, one of the truck rescue missions? Yeah, for the, the, the 605R. I forget which one that is, but. But, yeah, that's kind of dumb. Like, you should have to, like, I agree that, like, you should have to put fuel in it, because, like, you need it to run, but you shouldn't have to fill up. Especially when you're that close. He said they were three liters short. Fuck. That just pissed you off right there. Taking the 
standard rail. I'm glad I just decided to go this way because I completely forgot how shitty it is to try to take that turn with a goddamn tractor trailer. And I definitely have rolled twice there the last time I tried to do this. Because you just can't cut the corner because there's a hill on the other side of the corner. There was no way. Huh. Unless you maybe use a twin steer. The twin steer could probably do it. Holy shit, I don't remember the bug being that thick right there. There's one that's way up by the entrance to Drummond Island, and there's one, uh, there's one on the road right next to the middle, next to that fallen antenna mission. Oh wow, well, fuck it, I can probably just buy one too, cause yeah, it's it'll come back with me. to have number one delivered. One is done. Oh, stompies. Stompies. Sneak up on you. How my weekend is going? It is going great. How about yours? Did, uh... Mostly relaxing after the fucking crazy fucking week and then Memorial Weekend was just non-stop craziness. Let's fucking show off here with a sweet fucking modded trailer that's way better than mine. Hey, Billy, there's a tree there. No, I just, I tried to take it too wide. They almost have to. Oh, you barely missed it, you lucky son of a gun. Clearly, I'm just the better driver. Okay. Go on like a normal weekend doing nothing? Yeah. My favorite kind of weekends where you just sit home and do nothing. Two is probably the easiest. Yep.
Is that your bison? They're not bison. I brigadier? Yeah, you're brigadier. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I brought it. That has the high saddle on it. So when oh, I load this okay. up, I'm going to tow it behind the thing over there. Well, obviously, Kyle, we're playing SnowRunner right now. Obviously. You can chill and play SnowRunner. I didn't last weekend, but that's because I had people over all weekend for Memorial Day. Both my two of my army buddies were over. We did play some games. They did bring their computers. We played some Battlefield 4. Good old-fashioned LAN party. It was a good time. But I didn't stream any of it just because it... That would have been hell on my internet, and my internet's really pissed me off lately. Is a shitty road. It's not the bestest by any means. Yeah. Oh, I got got by one of those fucking dumb stumps that fall into the fucking map the second you run over them. Or am I stuck on something? What am I stuck on? Oh, my. The fucking bumper, I think, was hooked on that log. That's a really dumb. That's a dumb thing to be stuck on. on the bridge. Oh boy. Oh my god, I'm pushing it. I am pushing it. <laughs> no problem, this is a two lane bridge. <laughs> Holy fuck, fuck I don't, stop, I, god damn it, a stop, fuck, I saw it and I I just aimed right at it, like instinctively <laughs> tried to avoid it. I just, I, I wasn't gonna hit it, but then I saw it and I fucking hit it. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I can't believe we negotiated that as well as we just did. Yeah, I, I paid for it with my the 10 points of suspension or engine damage. I'm a stump? Yeah, dude. Exactly, yeah, stumps are everyone's best friend. I saw it, too. Like, I saw it, and I still, I just tried to avoid it, and I ended up just driving right into it. sure it's the drilling equipment we need for that next mission and not aren't they just called cargo containers because you're doing that other one for that like ship mission that harbor delivery mission or whatever aren't you yeah isn't that what it, isn't that what it is i don't know probably good to check fucking right now no, oh, drilling right. Equipment oh, yeah. times one. okay yeah, you're good you're good sorry i questioned freaking out there. So I was gonna fucking send you a picture but I didn't get a chance to front. Remember that fucking blue 49X I sent you a picture of that my dealership got in like right after they yeah. came out it finally got i guess it wasn't for a customer yet or something i don't know but they put a dump body on it 
um, and oh my god, and it's a color match dump body, and it looks so fucking sexy. They had it like out oh, in front it is? as like a yeah, they had out in front as like a show truck. Oh my god. We won't get any more of them this year, sadly, because we've already fucking. We just had like one of our main customers is like, um, or not main, but big customers. Um, have like a milk company out of like freedom around here yeah and they just fucking totaled one of their western stars like the dude was on a road he wasn't supposed to be on and uh car went by and he like went off to the side they like let the car go by and fucking dove into the ditch hit a culvert went end over end and then like totaled the fucking truck spilled like fucking forty thousand gallons of milk it was a how fuck. did he Fuck up that bad just letting a car go by. I'm he, so confused. He he rode the side of the road too hard. It was like a real dick, a oh. real deep ditch. He got sucked into the ditch, and there happened to be a driveway with a culvert right there. So he plowed into it going like 60, and the truck flipped at no red. Um, but anyways, yeah. So he it was a Western Star, and he totaled it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um. But we can't even fucking get him a new truck because we've already sold the maximum number of trucks that we can this year. Like, Freightliner won't give us any more. And it's fucking. Oh, really? And it's June. Like, he's just fucked. Like, he's gonna have to go get another truck from a different company now. Like, we're losing business because we can't physically sell any more trucks. It's so dumb. Why won't they let you sell any more? I'm so. That's. I think because every dealership just gets a certain allotment of trucks, they're just in such high demand. Huh. But we, yeah, we already sold our allotment for the year, so. It's so much business that could be lot. It's only halfway through the year. I know. It's kind of dumb, but there's a lot of a lot of dealerships, a lot of them need trucks. I mean, they don't produce fucking big rigs as fast as they produce cars. A lot slower production and a lot more specialized too, because a lot, a lot of them are made more made to order, anyways. Oh. Yeah, because we don't usually the only vehicles we usually have on the lot are used ones, because most of the time when they get a brand new truck, they have it spec from the factory to be whatever they want. Because that just oh, okay. saves time once it gets to us. Because, I mean, if we're a vocational dealership, so, like, the trucks are going to get some kind of, like, tanker attachment or logging or whatever on it. And that, we we do that at the deal. Well, we don't do that. Like, it's outsourced, obviously. But, like, it's our responsibility to get that part of it done. And it just adds a lot of bullshit if you got to, like, add fucking tag and push your axles onto it and change all that shit. Yeah, there's two. The only trucks that we have a fucking shit ton on of our goddamn auto car spotters. We have so many of them that our dealership actually has trucks like out on the side of the road in Appleton now. Because we had three of them oh, just wow. sitting in our lot. I think they all came off lease. So they're not like new, new trucks, but... They've been replaced with a newer unit already. and Jessica pick out a fucking travel trailer or something yet? Or are you guys still looking? I think her and Melissa are still looking. Yeah. I think that'll be the best fucking, the easiest thing. I know they're real opposed wow. to, but I mean, it's gonna have fucking air conditioning and shit in it. Like, 
I think that's what yeah. Chris is worried the most about. Like, I right. mean, I fucking want that too. Like, I'm not gonna fucking pretend like I'll fucking sit out there when it's fucking, you know, 100 degrees outside and be completely fine. But. I fucking said earlier, I know if it was me and you just going on this trick, like, there would have been no free planning. We would have just fucking went. We would have fucking found. <laughs> we would have just sent, yeah, we would have just fucking sent it. We would have just hopped in either of the, anyway, especially if it was just me and you. We probably would have just hopped in the Jeep and just fucking. Yeah. Because you know there's fucking sh shitty ass, not even that sketchy motels for no problem. And you know there's going to be open campgrounds, like. May not, they may not be, like, in the fucking parks, but, like, nearby. Like, that's what fucking people do out there. There's so many fucking natural parks and stuff. They literally do exactly what we're doing. And you just fucking drive from one to one with camper, travel trailer, whatever. You know what's funny? You can't put those tires on the P16 anymore. Oh really? Those weird ones that are in the, the loading oh, screen. That's, that's kind of funny. I guess I never fucking looked at that. You used to be able to, but they're shit. They're literally shittier spec than the the standard uh, like street tires or whatever. Yeah. I have to give, like, these, I don't know if it is just a difference because these off-road twos instead of the threes that we didn't use before, like, these fucking shit are, they're going through shit, like. They do. I, they, they aggressively go through shit, like, no problem. My poor truck, it's not, it hasn't been through that much abuse, I mean, besides me just hit, I, I think it's been through more abuse in just this video than it has the entire time I've owned it. It's just all beat to shit. I just jinxed it. That was on. That was on me. <laughs> they didn't steer fast enough. But no, it's just all beat to shit because the Western Star starts all beat to shit. So even after you repair it, and I'm not paying the six grand to get it cosmetic looking. Visually freaking yeah. At least not now. Yeah, I will eventually because I know it would look so fucking good. I really like this white color the way it's set up right now. Ooh, I went too far off the road on that. How many stumps and I mean this video a lot. It's like they're targeting me in this video, but like normally not that much. It's usually him tipping over. That's usually the, his number one cause of failure. You fucking jinx me, Billy. Okay, I'm not gonna have it. But yes, it is usually me rolling. That tends to be the thing that I do more than else. But ever since we did hard mode, I don't think... I think I've only ever rolled over one time that I actually needed another truck to save me. I think every other time I either was able to ninja winch and save it, or I got super lucky and it didn't turn the truck off, and I was able to winch back. But then again, we have not been to Alaska or Amandria yet, so those tend to be the maps where I like to flip things and roll in. 
Ala okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Alaska is not the flip over map. Alaska is you bang the fuck out of your tires on the stupid goddamn guardrails. Yeah. Even with chain tires. Even with chain tires. Well, I feel like I do that just as often as, as I like get going way too fast with the load and the truck gets out of control and like spins out and flips me. Like I feel like I do that a lot in that map too. Cause there's a lot of really steep hills that if you have like a load like I have now, like a cargo container, you start hauling ass down that hill um, and you get too fast and it starts fishtailing like crazy and you jackknife I it. guess. At least me personally, cause I tend to fucking put the pedal to the floor and just send her. I usually do too, but since we've been playing hard mode, I don't. Because it's just not worth it to wreck the shit out of your tires and suspension. Yeah. Yeah, I foresee a lot of utility trailers in my Alaska map. <laughs> gonna be a lot. I can't tell you how many times just in at the garage that's next to the airport i forget is that white something i forget what map that is in alaska white valley white I valley think. just driving to the other maps from that map and just that long like super straight road where you get going really fast mm. i can't fucking... yep when i found out you were alive i was so excited to watch you and take tips from you when I do, yeah. Definitely learn from my mistakes. I haven't made too many mistakes. This this hard mode playthrough's been going pretty well so far. I haven't done anything very bad. And we haven't used any fucking modded trucks. I'm proud of us for that. Like I yeah. I haven't used a single modded truck even in Alaska yet. I mean I couldn't afford them even if I wanted to use them. I shouldn't say that. I think I have like 70. Where the fuck does it show you? Uh, I'll be right back. Yep. I have $70,000 right now, so I definitely could afford another real decent truck. main really only tip for hard mode is spend your money wisely because you're not going to get it back. It's the best tip you can have. So you think twice about buying a fucking woo, level 13. A $73,000 truck when you only get like you know 30 something 36, 37 thousand dollars back. That's a lot of money to throw out the door if you buy the wrong truck. Okay. I looked away for one second. Hold on me. Alright, we need to get this baby back to a garage. So we want harbor delivery activate. Why does it show two? Rot row. Okay, I'm gonna leave this truck here because I find it weird that um, it lists in the object. It only says one there, but then if I go here, it shows two. Okay, I guess we can go. We need two metal beams. We need an oil rig drill. So let's go back while we're waiting for him. Let's go to Smithville Dam. And we're gonna pull out the cat and titter. And hopefully I have a uh, flatbed trailer nearby here. 
I don't remember if I do or not. But we're going to start getting that other stuff ready for that mission. Make sure this beast is all customized the way we want it. Off-road stock, yep. Sell those. Some free money. Uh, we could have chain tires now. We don't need that. Okay, we're not high enough level for that. We do want this, though. Okay, we got that. Oh, chrome, you know it. Do I? Let's see where we have a. Because I thought I bought like a really nice flatbed. But where did I bring it is the real question. It's not there. Sideboard semi trailer there. How much money do these cost? Maybe I didn't buy one. I do have one somewhere. Okay, it's called a Savrog. Let's look at the map. Island Lake. Where the hell is it if I have it? That's the one that's on Billy's truck. Maybe it says I have one because he has one? I don't know. Alright, well, let's just... Pretty sure we just get these at the service hub. So I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go into the garage and put a low saddle on this truck. We're gonna go back, get the flatbed tra uh, trailer from Black River. Get two things of metal beams. Sorry, head back up. a new truck that actually hauls ass compared to all the other trucks I've been using. Oh, oh balls to the wall now. Oh! Okay. I might have a game crash there. that trailer doesn't have anything on it i think we cleared it out when i stole the stuff from it oh my god my guy's floating right. Right, so we are gonna go get 
this flatbed semi trailer and two things of no meat. sign just freaks out every time I drive by it. Kind of hilarious though. Is that a steerable lift axle? Hold on. It looks like it's steerable. Definitely not, though, but I guess it's just a sway bar or something. Interesting. That would be cool and different to set it apart from the 49X. Fifty fifty percent off. Sign me up. Oh, sorry about your mailbox, bro. Do the stop sign too. Oh boy. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. She could do a side mission to All show right. that guy in It would be cool if they added, like, dirt as a cargo. Yeah. That'd be really cool, because then you could, like... I would like to see them add, like, kind of what we talked about, like building bridges in your own traversal methods or something. It was, yeah, I did just tap it lately. Um, you know, like, build your own bridges or whatever, or, like, dump sand in a mud hole to, like, make it less shitty. Or, like, lay down wooden planks so you could drive on or something. That would be pretty cool. Well, you know how they have, like, that fake bridge thing built with like the separated concrete blocks in that one in the shitty fucking cold yeah. peninsula yeah why don't they let us do something like that you know what i mean like, yeah no that'd be cool i think it'd be really cool like all they'd have to like really add to make it interesting is they could do like you know like the electric companies stuff do when they're like working on power poles you have like those pre-made like wooden squares or whatever of like heavy wood that you could like load up in a truck and you have like a crane with a claw on it i think that'd be kind of cool you could like have that as a cargo and like stack a bunch of them and then like place them and like basically build a path yeah that'd be some cool shit
Uh, so Billy, I hopped in my caterpillar and I'm starting to get all the other stuff ready for that big mission. So I'm bringing the two metal beams there now. Hey, thank you, Robert, for subscribing. Um, so I am bringing... Oh, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, for the final mission with the big trailer. So I am bringing the two metal beams there. I'm going to pick up... There's another flatbed sideboard, like, fifth wheel trailer over there that's got some rando shit on it. I'm going to pick that one back up, get rid of the cargo, and then I'll grab the drilling rig, too. Yeah, that would be really sweet, Kyle. I would really, I would really like doing that kind of shit. I think that would make, like, send, this game's already very good, but that would, like, next level. That, and then way more vehicle recovery stuff. Like, way more vehicle recovery stuff. Like, I think there should be fucking flatbeds, rollbacks, actual, um, winch setups, like, big winch setups, um, in-game. I think it would be cool to... I was thinking about this another time, too. If you had an actual tow truck, Billy, so get this. What if you could, like, use... Like, you'd have to use a specific attachment on the truck to make it work, I think, to be balanced. But what if you could, like, either multiple winches? If you had, like, a specific tow truck attachment, like, you could use two or three winch lines at the same time. See, that's realistic on the trucks that you have a crane on. I right. don't know why they don't let you right. do that. And then also, I think they should allow you to use, because they do it in real life too, especially heavy duty recovery, use like pivot points. So like if you're like in line with a truck and it's flipped over, like you should be able to like winch to a tree on the side of it and then like change it to the- Oh, use a, use a snatch block? Yeah, basically. So you could technically pull it from the side. Because that's, I mean, in real life, like, that's how you would do that. Like, you wouldn't have to be on the side of the truck, but that way you could get way better angles on stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be really cool. And I think that would be all be possible in the game engine. But yeah, the, definitely the more than that, the multiple winch lines would be a thing. You need to be able to use stuff, like, in a Mandra. Put stuff in a Mandra, like the... Uh, I guess I don't know what you're talking about. Let me know. I probably will remember the second you tell me, but I don't remember offhand. Oh, there's Oh, yeah, the big concrete, yeah. Yeah, like what we were talking about earlier, yep. Yeah, the big concrete slabs that you can place down to drive over. Yeah, we were talking about that. Gotta put down my... Caterpillar, do your thing. I mean, realistically, you could, you can buy those concrete slabs, and if you have like a good enough trailer with sideboard, like you could stack them up and bring them and like do that with them the problem is i don't know how the physics of those would react with the truck that well because like the ones in amandra work because they're like in place and i would like them to be able to move like i fully believe like especially those shitty that's another thing they said like those shitty bridges that like move like i fully believe if you fucking overload your truck those bridges those bridges should fucking break like, if you bring a big-ass truck over it, oh, they're not wide enough. You could put them down the long way, but then you're using double enough or too many of them. That's a good point, though. But yeah, those little shitty bridges, you should definitely be able to. If you, would like, have, like, a truck like mine and you try to cross into those, it should literally just break. That would be so funny. Oh, what? It'd be so shitty. Well, you would know that making that would be a risk. And that's the risk if you want to take that shortcut.
And we might get some of that because there's some of that because the DLCs are all named. I forget what they're named, but like they have. Um, like, hold on, hold on. Let's uh. The season two. Yeah, let's check out because they have they have them all named already. Can't go to the store page, you piece of shit. Do 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 do. So like they have this stuff named already, and you could there definitely could be a lot of stuff going in it because so season five's called Build and Dispatch. So I'm guessing that's gonna be more of like the probably like how we're like we do like the building cabins and stuff on uh the yukon i bet you it's going to be more stuff like that which is cool and then six is hall and hustle so um we can guess maybe newer different cargos hustle maybe some like different types of probably i bet you that's gonna add like a lot I more bet they're gonna have a hot they're gonna have a highway map one of these times that might be that's that might be that season six highway hustle and maybe they're gonna have a lot more like time challenges and stuff they'll add like a bunch of time challenges to the new one um season seven is complete and conquer so i think that one's mm. gonna be way more That one, it could be a lot. So that that could, you could say, like, maybe some other, like, factory, like, building a factory like you do in, like, Wisconsin or whatever or, like, in the Yukon and conquer. That could be, like, building lots of bridges and stuff. Maybe it's a lot more, maybe that is a lot more, like, uh, bridge and, like, build-related stuff, but, like, more transport-wise, like, railroads and stuff. And then season eight is just called new expansion. I don't know if that's a working title or if that's literally it's just called new expansion. That might be cool. That'd be kind of cool if if you had like a map that didn't have any like was just wilderness. You know what I mean? Um. And like you have to go like explore it and like literally like build the infra the infrastructure on the map. I think it would be pretty neat. That's just my opinions on what I think those mean. Obviously, those are working titles, so they might change. But... But, I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot more because what there's going to be, what did they say? But there's like supposed to be four seasons. Oh, really? Or, so there's like four or five seasons. So season one's done. Season two is this year. Or, like, the later half of this year and the beginning of next year is Season 2, when the next four DLCs. Oh, hold on. I will be right back, Chet. Sorry about that. Work-related thing. But hey, contract complete. Look at that. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. I want to do that. I'm like, why is the music still going? Harbor delivery is done. Ooh, 47 on the rocks. All right. Sorry. So we are going 
to take this way, get to the drilling site, and we're gonna pick up this trailer on the way back. Oh god, now I got the hiccups. Stumps, don't you sneak up on me. I'm trusting you. Okay, so this trailer just has a bunch of lumber on it. I guess we'll have to get rid of it. It is what it is. bad. My coworker just te texting me asking if I could work next Saturday for him, but that's when we have our engagement photos, so I'm going to be gone all fucking weekend. Like, sorry, man. Oh, God, this is, this is way shittier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no. This might have been a mistake. Oh, and I don't have diff lock. Oh, and this is a heavy. Um, put that that fucking tag axle down. Okay. That's a fucking mistake. We're not going that way. Oh, I should have got gas, too. straighten the fuck out please so I can back up better oh god this is just a horrible idea over here Go, 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 go. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Clear that tree. Okay, I need to straighten the trailer out in time. The tree right there. It's God! You just flip something? No, I pulled a U and hit a guard real hard. <laughs> pulled up. Oh, but I was smart and put a spare tire on this truck. <laughs> yeah! Oh, you like hit it hard, hard. Oh, yeah. to ditch these on the road. We're gonna have to go get gas because I didn't get gas because I was dumb. Back out to the road, ditch the trailer, and then I'm gonna go get more gas. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Kyle. <laughs> you are right, I didn't think about it, but I was dumb for not thinking about that. Fuel should always be on my mind. Did you get my text about how some of the fuel stations in fucking Alaska are like expensive as oh, fuck? Oh yeah, like eight dollars a liter or whatever. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That's 
probably gonna be like 15 bucks a gallon for me. I wonder if you can cheese it depending on if you have gallons or uh, liters selected. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna check that because that would be bullshit. because like the conversion rate or whatever. I wonder yeah. if it'd be cheaper if you had it switched to gallons. Feels like you're yeah exactly. I gotta think about it. Here we could we could probably do a test right here, Billy, because I'll, I'll leave this truck over here quick and I'll go up to the fuel station. We'll see, because I'll just get up there and we'll see how much it says for me to refuel it or for you to refuel it. This is science. We need to know now. Just let me get back over there. Kyle said he was hearing rumors that gallons was cheaper. I might have been cheesing the game the whole time. We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna live on air. We're putting this to the test. If I have enough gas to actually make it there. Which I should. I have a feeling just because of the conversion rate, I bet you it will be different prices. What do, what do you think the difference is, Billy? I'm gonna say like $10. I think it's gonna be $10 cheaper to fill it up with gallons as opposed to liters. Just with the way the conversion rate is in that and rounding up and down. That's my prediction. Hold on, I'm almost there. says eleven dollars I think it's gonna be pretty minimal like that oh god I'm hauling but I do think there'll probably be a difference just because the way because leaders don't go like super perfect and I mean they do but they don't Okay, so at the gas station here, at a price of $8 a gallon, it will cost me 416 bucks to fill up 52 gallons. Let me switch to the garage, and Billy, if you just want to switch into my Caterpillar quick, and then see how much it would cost you, or take you to do it. Oh, wait. Um... So what did you say? Switch switch into my caterpillar and then see how much it costs you to fill up. Do you remember your your money number? Yep, four hundred and sixteen dollars total to fill up fifty two gallons. Ha! Huh, mine's cheaper. It's three hundred and ninety six. Whoo! So like, damn, that's almost twenty bucks cheaper. So let me see if I. Mine's. Mine's two dollars per liter. Yeah. Okay. So if I switch, metric system cannot be changed in the hard mode. Why would it? That's interesting. So you're just stuck with whatever the fuck you started with. But why would they do that? So that you can't change your. I don't know. That's really weird, though, that they do that. All right, so I'm getting ripped off more. Turns out Billy's been cheating the whole fucking time. Actually, I've been using the fucking thing that the game started with, bitch. Uh, I mean, we're in America right now. We're in Michigan, so you're, the fuel would be sold in gallons, not liters, so you can suck a dick. Right? Is that so? I've never been to my fucking local quick trip in fucking Wisconsin. They sell gas in fucking liters. But yes, you will be right once we get to one of the Russian maps. 
Yep, everyone was wrong. So we found out why Billy got like three hundred thousand dollars saving on those fuel costs. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> That's where it all came from. We got proof now. Yes, get down the mountain. Uh, is that fuel trail? Oh no, that was on your fucking game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Classic Billy. <laughs> See, Billy, you're already you're already forming a repertoire with my viewers. They just know you now. You really gotta get a fucking webcam and start recording your fucking shit so I can and send it to me so I can fucking like cop together. It would be, it would be probably pretty good. Yeah. You have a... There's a lot of shit that they don't see. Yeah. It, I can help you. It's really not that hard because you can, you have a fucking 20 series GPU, so you can just use the NVENC encoder. It won't be like any more problem. You just have to make sure you like start and stop it and like have your overlay set up with your webcam or whatever. Yes, Kyle says, please do it. The, the viewers want it, Billy. You got to give the viewers what they want. So is that all I need? Just a webcam? Yeah, probably. I mean, I guess you don't even technically need that. Like, it depends if you want people to see your face, but I think people want to see your face. Yeah, and then you just use Streamlabs, OBS, or something like that, and you just record them. I told him, Kyle, I've told him to start streaming. Told him. Stream. I just don't want the bullshit that you deal with on a consistent basis every time we want to fucking... But mine would be different. Mine would be just a record and, yeah. and then give it to you. You don't have to worry about all the internet bullshit, which I don't yeah. think your, your internet is probably not good enough to stream because I know you got shitty fucking Wi-Fi. That's, and that's the only problem because my internet's like good. I think we pay for the good one. It's just that where my router is compared to where my computer is just... just yeah, you need to have, you basically, if you want to stream, you either need to have amazing internet and, like, Wi-Fi 6. Um, or you need to be plugged in. Look, yeah. Kyle said, he, he starts streaming, he'll be, right, he'll be right over. He'll ditch me and head right over to you. Sub, sub to Billy. But you could, you don't, you wouldn't have to, like, stream technically, Billy, because you could just, if you're recording everything, like, literally... Like, the way I have it set up with, like, recording, like, you get yourself an external hard drive or whatever. If you want to do stuff, like, without me, you can just you can just have your own YouTube channel and just upload right to YouTube. Because Streamlabs takes care of everything in the video file with everything else. So, literally, like, whenever it screws up and I have to, like, upload the stream to YouTube, I literally just go into YouTube, hit the file, and, and upload and leave it be. Like, that's all I have to do. Oh. I mean, granted, if you want to, like, edit it and add stuff in, like, you need, like a higher-end computer or whatever, but you don't always need to do that. Right. And I've just pretty much established, like, if I, if I continue to have internet issues, chat, uh, and we have to end the stream, from now on, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the stream but keep the recording going. And uh, when everything's over, I'm going to, um, I'll just upload that and just be done with it. I think that's just going to be a smarter thing. Like a 25-minute video. They just want a 25-minute video from you, Billy. That's it. That's all they want. Hmm. Especially once I get my new internet and uploading to YouTube will be... It's like right now it's kind of shitty because my streams are at least like two to three hours normally. So if I want to upload yeah. that to YouTube, it takes probably like two or three hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, don't worry, Kyle. I have I have comp compilations of my stream in the work. I am just I'm using DaVinci Resolve and I have no idea how to use it. So it's a very slow process. 
But I do have recorded back because I record all of my streams. They're all backed up to my external hard drive. So I do have, I am working on some of the better streams. I will comp them into a compilation. It's probably going to be like 20 to 25 minutes. Because at this point, Facebook's being dumb and not storing my videos anymore. Twitch is just so hard to gain traction in. Like, I don't think I've had a single person like, like Facebook, at least people hop in and hop out to watch. And YouTube's the same way. Twitch, I've literally been at one viewer the entire time I've been streaming for an hour and a half. Oh, talking about a video that's... Yeah, oh yeah. No, I would... I would. Yeah, I plan on just... Re that's why I want to do it. Oh god, we're over a hump here. This is not good. I was distracted. But yes, I will just keep that in mind. But yeah, what I was saying is like it... With my fucking... Like I only have 20 megabytes upload speed, which is enough to stream at 1080p you only use six for that but it still takes like two hours to upload a um, video and granted i record at a very high bit rate so it's higher quality but once i get my fiber connection this fall what are we stuck on okay that was just some dumb bullshit we were actually still. but yes i i plan on investing more into my youtube audience i think more than anything else because that seems like the easiest thing to work with Facebook's too much drama. Twitch just sucks in general. YouTube's where it's at. I've had that stupid uh, Twitch wanting me to partner email sitting in my inbox for like a month now. But the second you partner with Twitch, you can't... Um, yeah, who cares about Facebook? It's Facebook. They all have their strengths and benefits. Facebook, it's really easy to to build a following. I have my most followers on Facebook because you can take out ads and that that really can get you the exposure. So Facebook's good for building a community. Twitch is good for maintaining a community and YouTube is good for attracting new members in the past because it stores all your stuff. But Facebook gaming is really good. And Facebook gaming and YouTube or try to watch it does not allow me to start stream really interesting that's kind of weird okay metal beams have arrived I can't do anything with them yet until you get here But Twitch is the dumbest just because once you're partnered with them where you can make money, like, you're not allowed to stream simultaneously to any of the other uh, um, platforms, which is really dumb. The second you're partnered on Twitch, you cannot stream to Facebook and YouTube like I do. You can post it to YouTube and Facebook after the fact, a full 24 hours later. That's just so dumb. You, YouTube doesn't have those restrictions and neither does Facebook. I can't believe I was actually able to make it all the way to this gas station. Did you ditch the trailer somewhere? Yeah, right by the entrance of the road. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Cutting her pretty close, but we did her. Oh my god, so at the other map, so that's $8 elite for, it's only like one or two of the gas stations in Alaska, but yeah, it's eight fucking dollars a liter there, so I bet it's like ridiculous per gallon for you then, because yeah. you said it, you said this one that's two dollars for me is it's eight, eight dollars a, a gallon. gallon for me, yeah. So two to eight, that's what, four times, so yeah. Eight times four is thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two dollars a gallon for me. Holy fuck. She expansive. <laughs> she expansive. I like this brigader. I think I like it better than the cat. Yeah. 
I mean, it, the two, you should like but... it better because it's way more money. Yeah, but it's an old piece of shit in comparison. Yeah. I mean, most of the trucks in this game are old pieces of shit. These cats are probably pretty close to some of the newest trucks in the game. I mean, the new... The newest truck is the 49X, because that came out in 2021. So I think that's like the newest truck. I will be interested to see how that uh, other international fares, that long ass wheelbase international. Oh yeah. The HX520 or whatever the hell it is. The yeah. one that's supposedly a civilian cab of a it's yeah, it's a it's a day cab of the Navistar, which that truck might be pretty close to the second newest truck, because uh, that Navistar, even though it looks old as shit as a military, I think is a pretty new, because it has like the, I think it has like the little LED strip or whatever for the turn signal, like the 49X does kind of. Oh my God. Screw you, Stomp. Hate you. Or log. I stuck on another one. Oh my god, I'm stuck on another one. I'm just gonna get buried here because I'm stuck on a stupid log. Come on. Come on. Don't you screw me, log! right. Just drive right through you. No problem. Yep. And you fall through the map. Yep. Good deal. I need to get diff. Caterpillar has diff lock, right? I think I just have it locked still. E yes. I think all the new trucks are diff lock and all wheel drive. I just don't have it unlocked yet, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, it's a, it's a stump minefield. That's a smart thing to do, just hook to them in advance. You already know they're going to screw you up, so you might as well just winch to them and use the little leverage and then get them to fall through the map right away. That's a good, that's a good strategy. Alright. Well, we have five things of planks here that I don't know what the hell to do with. So I'm just going to bring them back up by the warehouse, disconnect and tip the trailer over and just dump them away because I don't want to move because they might be useful for something. Yeah, SnowRunner logic. Billy, did you ever play the Mass Effect games? Uh-uh. I think you'd probably like those games. I've been replaying through with the Legendary Edition that just came out. I've been having a blast with it. It's like just a combat RPG with, like, you get, like, teammates, so it has, like, a little bit of that mixed in. But it's really, it's really crazy choice-based, like, your shit like you'll like fought like you have like a crew so you have like certain characters that are with you like through all the games and you like right. you build a relationship but it's like you fuck up your choices like they'll literally die like i fucked something up because i didn't remember and i lost a character already in my first playthrough of the, new game, of the first one and then he's just gone like normally he would be there through the second and third game but he's just gone because when like you start it the next game you can like load your save file so it like remembers all the choices you made really yeah but they're it, they're just a really fun game there's a lot of cool dialogue and stuff the combat's really fun if you see it on sale or something and you want that type of game i 
God damn it. I know I fucking brought this trailer through here last time. I don't know why it's giving me such a fucking hard time right now. Jackknife? Why are you jackknifing right now? Okay. Alright. And okay, yep, I forgot to stop the truck. So my bad. My bad. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Is it bad when you play SnowRunner and you mount mounting a lot of trees by accident? No, I think it's part of the game. You're gonna hit some trees in SnowRunner. The first game, the Mud Runner was all about logging. It's the heart of these games. Well, shit, guys. That was almost fucking perfect. Why did the trailer have to roll over the. I managed to flip the trailer over, Billy, and I have almost all the stuff, like, stacked perfectly. Like, I got to, like, perfectly roll out. Oh, really? There we go. Now we have five things of lumber just chilling here for no reason. I can do better than that then. Line up your king pin. I saw that American Truck Simulator has multiplayer now, and I was kind of considering rebuying it, even though I said it was shitty. Because. That might be fun to play. Oh, so it does have multiplayer it's, now? See, I was looking at it. I was like, God damn, it's so cheap. Like, they, I don't know if it's a mod, but one of the YouTube guys that I watched that plays it a lot has been playing co-op with it. And I don't know if they added it or what, because Euro, uh, uh, Euro Truck Simulator, like the European version of the game, has always had online co-op, but American Truck Simulator never did. Okay. But I guess they must have added it after the fact. Like, I know they added a bunch of DLC for the different areas, and they added a bunch more trucks and stuff, so maybe I just happened to buy it too soon after it came out and there just wasn't a lot in the game yet. Yeah, because they have a Utah DLC, and I was looking at it, I was like, God damn, that's awesome! Yeah. Like, well, that was the other problem with that game, like, the environments are so like rinse and repeat and they don't feel like as well uh Kyle you should definitely get I was I don't know if Billy have I told you about the gold rush game on Steam? Uh, I don't think so. Oh god. Game? Game no. Game no. The game might just crash, Billy. I'm gonna freak out. Hopefully it well, I guess we'll have to see where it loaded that trailer. Hopefully it saves and sends that trailer still in the map. Oh, that's going to bite a lot of dick. Yep. All right, crash number two. Ready to go, SnowRunner? 
But anyways, Kyle um, and Billy, Gold Rush is actually a surprisingly fun game. Like, surprisingly funny. Not funny. Fun. I actually enjoyed it a lot. If that game was multiplayer, I would for sure tell all of my friends to get it. Because it's, like, it's, like, based on, like, Gold Rush the TV show or whatever. But it's, like, you have your, like, claim or whatever. And, like, you have to, like, start and you pan for gold. And, like, you buy your equipment, like, your wash plant, and, like, your excavators and stuff. But, like, you get to, like, set it up, like, however you want. Like, there's, like, power cords and, like, water pipes and stuff. You have to, like, go get, like, the parts and, like, plug everything in and, like, make sure it's fueled. And, like, your shit, like, your, like, rock shaker and stuff can break, can, like, break. And you have to, like, go get replacement parts for it and, like, fix them. And your, like, equipment can break. Like, it's actually a really cool game. They've added a lot to it. Um, but not multiplayer, sadly. But yeah, that's one of those games that I, like, every once in a while, I, like, check to see what they've updated in it and, like, see what they've added and stuff. Because it is fun to play that game and, like, get everything set up and... Like, all the different equipment and stuff. It's, I don't know. It's a very cool game. All right, let's see where the fuck that trailer ended up. Okay, so it, it shouldn't be that fucked up, Billy, because the autosave wasn't that long before it, it looks like. I don't see it on the fucking map, though, so that's not good. Oh, no, I do. I do. Uh, I think it'll be okay, Billy. It's... Like, at that crossroads right by the farm. So, before you got to that, like, shitty rock part by where that, uh, other thing is. I've been thinking about my career doing construction or being a mechanic because I'm a big Marad. I mean, there you go. I wanted to go, I actually wanted to be a heavy equipment operator for quite a while because there's really good money in that. Billy, are you still in here? I haven't heard you talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh... Loading back in. Um, yeah, I actually thought about, because there's a... There's a union training ground for heavy equipment operators. It's somewhat kind of close to me, and I thought about going to be an equipment operator, because that stuff's always fascinated me. But it'd be a lot of bullshit. Like, they pay you really well, but it'd be like... I'd have to stay there because it's just far enough that I'd have to, like, be gone for, like, the entire week. And uh, then I'd have to come back on the weekends. And I, I'm i 25 years old, and I do not feel like living in a goddamn dorm room, hotel room with another fucking dude. Like, I had that when I was in the Army. Like, I'm over it. Maybe I can convince Billy to move back here, and then me and him can go be heavy equipment operators. You gotta admit, that'd be a fun fucking job, and they get paid a shit ton of money. Just sit in a goddamn air-conditioned cab all day and fucking move dirt and shit. I bet there's tons of that out here, too. There probably is, but... I would only go if I would go with someone, because you have to stay... Because they have, like, dorm rooms and stuff. Like, it's like a campus thing. And you just go there and, like, go there for the week, and you have the weekends off. Like I said, I don't fucking, I'm not a people person at all, and I don't feel like sharing a goddamn room with some fucking rando dude. And being a mechanic's good, too. If you're gonna be one, be a fucking diesel mechanic, because they get paid way, way more money. Like, way more money. I think the techs at my work, they hire diesel techs right out of the technical college that's here because we have a deal with them. So they actually get hired while they're still going to school. And I think they start them at, like, uh, I don't even know offhand. It's like 17 or 18 bucks an hour, which actually doesn't sound a lot since everyone's talking about it. But just starting while you're going to school being able to make that is pretty good and then some of our older techs that are like master techs and have all the training like they're making probably 
probably close to 30 bucks an hour and over. Depending on all the certifications you get for like Cummins or Detroit, Allison, Meritor, all that shit. So that's like that shit if you're a car tech and you're like ASE certified. But there's only like one ASE certification. Like, I mean, I know there's more than one. Like, I know there's like for HVAC and all that stuff. But like, but any kind of ASE certification, like you're going to make more money as a regular car mechanic. But as a diesel truck mechanic, the more of those, like if you're Cummins certified or Detroit certified or, you know, any of the different engines in spec, like that's those stack very impressively. But they're like legit schools. Like if you want to be certified for Cummins engines, like it's like a week long course you gotta to go to like New England for and it's expensive. Expansive? Yeah. You know Ben how you like those fucking brownies and those other things that are made by like little Debbies and chip. Dude, cosmic brownies, man, they're fucking tops, bro. So the, so that so that shit is like your drug. Yeah. My shit is those fucking nutty buddy bars. Oh my god. I went through that phase in fucking high school because one of my teachers like fucking loved them and like would have like a bajillion oh. fucking boxes of them. And he sold them to like the students for like fifty cents or whatever. I'd have like two or so fucking yeah. good. Yeah, I haven't had one in a very long time, but I imagine if I had a box of them, I would probably destroy them. Because I love, well, I think you're the same way. Like, I fucking love peanut butter, so any fucking Reese's Pieces. I can't resist peanut, these fuckers. Peanut M&Ms, any of that shit, I will fucking destroy. I could go for a fucking crunchy peanut butter and jelly sandwich right now. I tell you what. I tell you what, son. Loading up that. Oh, gross. You like the peanut butter with, like, the nuts in it? Oh, yeah. Cr Dude, do you not, have you not had crunchy peanut butter, bro? Dude, it's, it's nowhere as good as smooth. Nah, dude. Mm -mm. <laughs> My fucking viewer. I leave and come back and you guys are talking about peanuts? Yeah, Kyle, all right? <laughs> You miss, you miss the whole conversation. The peanut butter that has like the honey in it too, like the fucking. I don't know if I've had that, but dude, crunchy peanut butter is where it's at. I don't care what anyone says. Crunchy peanut butter. Oh, I found your trailer. Too bad I can't move it because I have a low saddle trailer right now. But I'm gonna go around you. And it's great because my fiance loves peanut butter too. Like she just has like plain ass peanut butter sandwiches. So she flies through peanut butter. I would agree with that. I don't usually toast my, eh, I do, I do have it with toast, like as a toast apparently, but it's much better in a PB and J form with an actual like piece of toast with peanut butter on it. I could go crunchy or smooth. I don't care who you are. As a kid, those uncrustable things were the goddamn shit. Dude, I still buy those to this fucking day all the time. <laughs> all the fucking time I buy those. But anyways, like, my fiance Melissa loves peanut butter too, but she fucking can't stand crunchy peanut butter. So I I always have a big-ass jar of peanut butter that never gets touched because I'm the only one that uses it. So. <laughs> You go through two tubs of peanut butter in a week between them. Yeah. You go fucking through that. I know plenty. Well, plenty of my buddies that like bodybuild and work out all the time, they go through fucking peanut butter like it's fucking water too, because it's such peanut butter is such a like for muscle recovery and like instant protein. It's really good for that. So, and I mean in the army, like when I was back in the army, half the fucking MREs come with peanut butter, either creamy or smooth, and that's actually where I fell in love with crunchy peanut butter was MREs for the army. That's like one of the few things that you can get in an MRE that does not taste like total shit. Like the gel, <laughs> like the jelly, the jelly tastes like absolute dog shit. The bread is almost unpalatable, but the peanut butter, like we used to like stash that shit and keep it in our bags for like a quick snack because it comes in like squeeze tubes. Just rip a corner and fucking drown some peanut butter. Like that shit tastes like 
like your perfect fucking jiffy peanut butter, skippy peanut butter that you get at the store, like fresh that you just opened. Every fucking time, even if that MRE is like six years old, it tastes like that. I still have so many MREs. I have a fucking laundry bag that probably has 60 MREs in it that are probably all so far expired, but I don't want to throw them away. Because what if you know the world ends tomorrow? It's a lot of free food. I don't really know how long, and you can't really tell by the date on MREs because they have like a code on them. It doesn't let you have a straight expiration date. And I've definitely eaten, eaten, eaten expired ones before and it's, like, they don't taste any different. I just don't know how long they last compared, but I probably should just throw them out. Or just sell them to some doomsday preppers for like eight bucks a piece. All right, so here right behind me. Which one do we need? So we're gonna need the metal beams first. God damn it! Can't get this fucking thing through here, dude. It'll fit. I know. I've done it too, but it's like giving me all kinds of. Bullshit. You need me to come back and pull on it. I'm surprised, like, because I pulled it through here with the fucking kick ass winch last time, too, and I just cannot get it to fucking. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that part, especially because it rides up on the sides, you basically just need to winch to the fucking tree and just fucking pull until you get your tires on the ground. Let's see. If you sell it to someone in the next day, yeah. No, I don't think I'd sell it to someone. Because I'd feel bad if that was it. I'll just have to crack one open and try it and live with the consequences that it's bad. Like, I don't... Like, they have expiration dates on them, but I think it's more for freshness and not contamination. Like, I think the food's still at a, at, like palatable for a very long time. But it just doesn't stay, like, super fresh in the thing that, like, super long. They're only good for, like, technically by army standards, they're only good for, like, two or three years. Because that's where I got most of those is, like, they would, like, give away, like, if they had a pallet of MREs that were expired, they would just give them away. And also, like... They'd give us three MREs a day for, like, three meals. And I would only ever eat two, because technically you only ever need to eat one a day to, like, survive. So I would just, like, save the other two or whatever and not eat them right away. So I just acquired them over the years of being in the Army. And then they also have, like, totems, which are, like, diet MREs that are, like, half the calories that they'll give you all the time, too. Those are meant to eat like two or three a day, because they're they're not as many calories. They only have they don't have the side dish. It's like a normal MRE has like your entree, a side dish, a dessert, and then a snack. And I think the totems only have the entree and either a dessert or a snack. Like they don't have both. You got her fucking wedge there, guy. Yeah, dude, I don't think I have any of my tires on the ground. She started to move. Okay, hold on, let me give you another, like, snag pull. God, she's trying. Well, let me go... Get at a better angle here. I'm pulling you against the rock right now. God damn, I just cannot get it to budge. Like usually it like drags itself along, but I I cannot get this fucker to 
Yeah, just grab some butter and it'll slide right through. Easy, easy. Oops. Okay, you want to winch to me quick and I'll... Oh, wait, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, you got her. Yeah, maybe you just were pulling at too bad of an angle. Oh, shit. Now I got myself... Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue right there. I don't know how the fuck you're going to... Can you pull me... Oh, wait, maybe I can do it myself. Well, let's see. Let's see if, if I can winch to this. Maybe this will work. Yeah, you just need to turn the truck around. I think you got Come it. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. I think you Come got on, it. bitch. Pull me that way. Come on. Do you want me to get in front of you and just hold on? The trailer is is at like such a fucking stupid fucking angle. Might problem. just might just give you some, give you a fucking yoink. Fashion yoinker. Oh, almost. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Winch came loose at a bad time. Hold on, let me give you another good old yoinker. God damn it. Hold fucking, on here. fucking winch cable is not strong enough. <sighs> Maybe I can get this right here. Let's try this. Come on, bitch. It just needs to get around this fucking rock. I've done this before. I don't know why this time it's fucking being so shitty. You can try going around you and pushing it from behind. I think your fucking back tires are just kind of wet back here. Oh, almost started to go. Yeah, well, I, hold on, let me give you a, get ready with the winch and I'll fucking bop into you again. There it goes, there it goes. Oh, come, come there it goes, on, it's going, come it's on, going, bitch. it's going, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Oh god, you're all you're all your tires are off the ground. Yeah, I know. Oh and Hold she's on. I gotta back up. She, yeah, she's Jesus. uh she's a little wedge back here too. It started to go though. That's better because you got you got the trailer at an angle now, so it's actually riding up on the rocks. That actually might be better. There you go. Come on, bitch. I'm pushing. Oh, you're over a rock. You should be good. Oh, it's on top of oh. me now. It's on top oh. of my hood. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got to reposition because of fucking... Now I got to the other side of this tree. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Maybe if I can get All right, this I back. think you're, you're like through the rocks for the most part now. Jesus, freak. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, she's getting high-centered. Your landing gear is caught. I can see it. I know. There it goes. Oh, God. Now I'm going to miss the goddamn bridge. Oh, boy. Man, this bitch is freaking stuck. Because they put the, <laughs> for whatever reason, they put the stupid ass high saddle farther forward than they put the low saddle on this truck. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid the when they do that shit. Do you want me to give you a yank from the front? I think that might be the best because, um, the problem is right now. Yeah, I can't get a good, good enough snap on you from hitting it from the back without. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. Oh, you, oh, your front uh, tire's off the bridge. Yeah, I know. I can't freaking. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. 
This is gonna be fucking bad. Your mom said if you could do three more little assignments for school, you can get Billy's truck, the Brigader, all. Oh. It's a good truck, oh, but it also costs like $100,000 in-game. This is so dicked. Alright, what do you need me to do here, Chief? Pull me back fucking straight. Okay. I'm like way off the fucking bridge now. Oh god. Shit. Auto winch. I would really appreciate if you actually. Oh wait a minute. I might have been able to fix it. God, okay. this is some cluster fucking right here. All right. Oh god, no go on that side now. <laughs> That's not too bad. The brigade is probably worth an hour and a half. Okay, they, oh god, okay. Whew. Fuck, I'm almost out of gas. Oh god, don't you dare. Did you bring all the other shit all over here it's, already? It's the all there. And, uh, Classic thing. Oh, the, the rig is too? Everything's uh, we're, we're literally, we're fucking ready to go, dude. We just gotta bring that bitch over there. They're sitting there ready, waiting to go. Oh no, I remember this part too, this tree that gets caught on the... Ugh. Shit. Where do I have a fuel trailer nearby? Not anywhere. How are you on gas? Um, I have less than a half a tank, but I... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be slow going. I think I got it. Had a girl, Brigadier. Don't give me that bullshit that this terrain doesn't allow diff lock. It's mud. Oh my Gold Rush. Gold Rush, I don't know how it's going to play on consoles. Because that, even though I like to play these type of games with controller, that game's a little bit more keyboard and mouse. Which I know you can play with Xbox with keyboard and mouse. Hopefully it's well optimized, but that game on PC is definitely a blast. What am I stuck on now? Uh, I sent, no, no, no. Some of the trailer wheels are off the ground a little bit on the passenger side. It's just got to be high center. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. That's good to know. You're going to make me want to play goddamn Gold Rush now, Kyle. I want to play with fucking Billy because I think me and him would fucking have a blast it, but it's not goddamn multiplayer. Bullshit. Trying to push on you. It is not freaking budging, dude. Yeah. What the shit? I can't get it because the fucking salt poured up over here. Hey, thank you, buddy, for the light. Play. It is while Billy is driving, so <laughs> it's his fault, technically. <laughs> if I fucking hit you right here. Turn, turn. I just don't understand what the fuck is turn, turn to the right a little bit. Let me see if I can, like, push you, like, right behind your rear tire there. Okay, let me give you the gold yank. Hold I mean... On. I mean, I do usually do that. Are you trying to just nah. winch it, just dry pull it? You got it. It's moving just, a little bit. It did move. You just need to get it. I just need to get it over that fucking 
hump that my axles are not high enough to let it. Oh wow, you're in kid now. They put that high. Did that tree just fucking disappear? Hold on. That. Hey, thank you for following, buddy. I appreciate that. I swear to God, the tree just disappeared. But I wasn't, I was not looking at it, right? Yeah, I think it's just caught on that goddamn landing gear. So stupid. All right, let me get in front of you and try pulling. We're starting to run out of gas here. I know, me too. Still winch to me there? Um. Okay. Let me, let me give it a little cure and we'll see if we can get it. Alright, hit it! Come on, cat, let's go! Pull, 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 pull! Fuck! Goddamn winch cables just don't hold up. Alright, let's do it again. It moved it. Did it? Okay, let me do it again. It moved me, yeah. moving it ever so fucking slowly. Oh, 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 I think we're going. I think we're going. Just fucking stay winched to me. Let's just fucking yeah, plow through yeah, this. I'm just, just... Let's just get her done. I'm, yep. I got, I'm sitting in low plus. I'm just going to keep pulling on you. All right, I'll put it back in auto. Because that next hill is just as fucking shitty. But if we can keep the momentum going, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm in low plus two. Diff lock, all drive, so... I don't got no dislike. <laughs> Front axle came off the ground. What are we caught on? Ah, oh, we're caught on this fucking tree, Ben. Hold on. Oh yeah, it'll get you. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to swing a little wide on these rocks. I feel like you're the... I People are coming and going. I mean, constantly this stream, you've definitely been the one who's watching. But like I said, Facebook usually... Facebook people don't... Like, they don't watch constantly. Like, that that guy topped in and he liked and he followed. He watched for, like, probably five minutes and then he stopped watching. Because I can see all the numbers. So, like, right now, you're the only one watching. Like I yeah, said... We're Stuck on this stupid fucking thing right here. High centered again. I have one viewer on Twitch, but that's my bot. Come on, God, I'm in a shitty spot here too. Because I, the, the more I pull on you, the more I'm gonna tear this spot up, and it's just gonna be shittier for you. Because huh. it's another shitty spot for you too. Maybe, maybe get farther up. I'm gonna try and pull myself onto one of these some of these other witch points real quick. Right. This looks like all your tires are off the ground now. Come on, it moved a little bit. I think they are all off the fucking ground. Legitimately. Yeah. Oh god. I wasn't ready. <laughs> pull, caterpillar, pull! God, I need diff lock. Pull, damn it. Dig in and pull. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Bullshit. Let's see here. Do I have any winch points that are on the trailer that are gonna assist us here? <laughs> this guy's talking shit. Really. Says Who tell is? The viewers that uh, so tell Billy needs to get better at the game. He's almost good, but he's not quite professional yet. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> Billy is probably is the most professional. He's got more hours in this game than even I do. He sends not to fuck it up as much. 
as I do. I will say, the, the two times I've bought trailers down here, though, I haven't gotten it this fucking stuck. But I think it's just because the Brigader, just what he said, the the way that the high saddle is on it, it's just up slightly farther for whatever reason. I think it's just putting it at really bad angles. He still says that, that they love you, Billy, so don't take offense to it. He's getting it. He's got it. That was the motivation he needed, chat, right there. Tell me fucking sucks and does better, and then he, then he does better. That's the last shitty spot right there. Fuck! Goddamn auto winch just fucked me on that one. Yeah, I don't know why this, this fifth wheel on this trailer just sits so fucking low. Cause it usually the the high high saddle sits physically higher too. Yeah. On this truck, it doesn't. Yeah, it literally that looks like a goddamn low saddle on that truck compared to like the low saddle that's on my truck. Okay, I need to start. All right, I'm gonna drive forward because we need to start mounting a rescue mission with another truck. Cause we're gonna need fucking gas. Yeah, we are. Cause my tank is not ready. I'm pretty much done. Oh, uh, I'm sure there's not. I mean, I can tell you how many people are streaming this on Twitch right now, cause you can see. Snowrunner is a very Facebook game, I've noticed. There's a lot of people that play it on Facebook. Uh, Snowrunner clearly has, clearly, has oh god whoops I didn't want to do that that's Call of Duty I don't even see it listed here Snowrunner's actually got 756 people watching right now top channels are like 195 viewers it's real divided. Like, there's, like, there's three channels that have, like, 100. And there's one that has 195, two that are, like, 130. And the rest are, like, 29, 7, 4, 3. I'm not the shittiest one. Because there's some with 2 or 0. Oh, how many do you think will be made? I think there's quite a few. Because that would be, I feel like, as someone who enjoys SnowRunner, like, I would enjoy watching people do a hard mode playthrough. Although it is, it is one of those things that, like, SnowRunner already is kind of weird to stream sometimes, because it is a very uh, slow-going game compared to some other games, and hard mode definitely makes it even slower. I'm sure there's quite a few playing. I didn't see any in, when I just looked on Twitch though. I didn't see any tags that said hard mode. Oh, you didn't. You didn't miss too many. I've. I've not. I've been off my streaming game the past, the past week or so. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh boy. That's not good. But, I mean, luckily you're on YouTube, so they're all on YouTube, because they're not going to be stored anywhere else anytime soon. Because Facebook's dumb now. Alright, I think if I get it from the side like this, we can still... Oh, come on. I'm so close. We just got to get that fifth wheel plate underneath there. I didn't think about when I left... Oh, there we go, there we go. No, no! Fuck. that blows. Alright, Billy, we need a crane truck. And I'm almost out of gas. Alright. So let's do this to here. Got 
got that. Free attached. Alright, well, now we're dead in the water, so. We need a crane. So, our options are either, I'm pretty sure that trailer that's over at the logistics base has two metal beams on it. But neither one of us has the gas to go up there and get it, so. I think it's probably just. Yeah, Ben, I am not going to make it. I got so close. I'm at fucking... <sighs> So, like I said, we we can't do anything anyways because I don't I spilled the metal beams. So, all right. So we oh need... you you dipped the metal beams? Yeah, because I couldn't get underneath the trailer where I parked it. It was too low, so I tried to get under it from the side. And as I was trying to like wedge the trailer or wedge the fifth wheel plate underneath it, it fucking flipped the trailer and they spilled out. Because mm. I had them on a flatbed trailer, not a sideboard trailer. Okay. Well. I might be oh, SOL yeah. because my one crane that I own is on my one fleet star that's on Drummond Island. So that kind of blows. Not going to lie. So I'd either have to spend six grand and buy another crane or spend the money to recover this truck back to the garage. Um which costs 5000 So technically it is cheaper to recover this truck. So what are we... Hold on here. Let me see what I, I got for shit boxes in the, in the thing here. Graven! Comes over there. Okay, well, I'm going to start driving this truck back because we need to see it back eventually. So my Western Star is in here. The problem is we need a crane, but we also need a um, fuel too to get down there. A crane and fuel. Yep. So you probably need a. Well, the problem is you're gonna have to buy a fuel trailer and go and fucking put gas in it. It's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these metal beams because we're not gonna need them. Whoops. Alright, while you're planning that out, I'm gonna, I guess I'll just. Oh my god, the freaking big ass crane? Shit's on the power to weight ratio with the Fleet Star. Holy man. Well, it's fucking heavy as shit, dude. Oh, and then they make, so the guy who made the stronger mod one, yep. fucking makes it heavier. That's kind I didn't of even notice that. That is I've stupid. never noticed that before, too. Well, I, that's something that I would be okay with trading off. That does make it more balanced, I guess, because I would rather have the crane more powerful than the power to weight be slightly off compared to, because, like, the power to weight on the truck does not affect when you're using the crane, because the truck's stationary anyway. It just affects driving with it. And I usually put that fucking crane on the goddamn big-ass Pacific uh, P-16 anyways, so power to weight don't fucking need shit with that. That's a big fucking truck. Um, well, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to have one of these fucking big full-size cranes. No, we're going to need it anyways for other men. Alright, I bought one of those. Um, my tree? Like my spirit animal? Is that what you mean? I don't know what my spirit animal would be. I have to think on that one. I'm assuming that's what you mean by that. Alright, so I have a full size crane, Ben. What are we. So, what are we doing about the gas? Uh, I guess we just need to purchase a trailer and if you want to buy the trailer Billy just haul it down there I'll switch into it really quick and put the in. animal that oh you that I want to own really bad oh I don't know about that one uh, let me take a note 
Uh, Bill, yeah, if you just want to buy a fuel trailer and then bring it down to the gas station, I'll switch into your truck and I'll pay to fill it up with just a little bit of gas for what we need. That way you're oh, not you're draining saying. like three or four grand. Because I don't think you get that money back for the trailer. Like, you get the trailer money back, but... Yeah. I don't really you know. I think it. one of those cheap ones would be enough. The, like, 50, so those hold... Oh, yeah, they hold 1,400 liters. That'd be enough, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, because the... Yeah, my truck only takes... What the fuck just happened? The game just crashed again? I went full black screen, guys. Full black screen. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that really fucking blows because now you gotta drive your other truck all the way back out there, too. Oh, that's not that bad, I guess. At least it'll be full of gas. Classic snow runner, you know? Classic oh, snow Oh, shit box. Fuck, I'm restarting mine, like, completely. Well, I mean, it's all been on my end. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, so, apparently, Ben, American Truck Slammer Simulator... So, you know how, like, GTA has, like, that modded... Or you have to have, like, that 5M thing? Mm-hmm. I think that's what, from reading the forums, what the on what the multiplayer version... Oh, of, so they haven't actually added full multiplayer uh -huh. yet. I got you. Well, that's kind of lame. Honestly, Kyle, thinking about it, the we don't have that problem on console. Yeah, that's true. You also can't have a million mods. Sorry. <laughs> that's actually just as much of a curse as it is a blessing. Because then sometimes they just don't work, and you don't know why. You got that bitch fired up again? Uh, I'm firing it up right now. Um, right to now. My dream animal right now is fucking chickens. I really want chickens really bad. Oh, my God. Why? I love chi I've always had chickens. I love them. Fresh eggs. Oh god. And they're so I I just enjoy chickens. They're they're fun to keep as pets. They're interesting to watch and I don't know. I enjoy them. Yeah, but you are right. The games crash way less. I know from experience cuz holy fuck do I have issues with games crashing. Cyberpunk I was just trying to play earlier and it was fucking crashing. All right. So where Okay, I fucking started me here. But yeah, so I have, well, right now I have two dogs and one ferret. That's all I had. Oh, sorry to bugs passed away this past week, Billy. Very sad. Oh, no, really? Yeah, he was old, I think. So I'm down Dude, to Dude, that fucker was a trooper, bro. Yeah, and I think it was, it was kind of half-assed my fault, but kind of not. So his, his, uh, that's a lot of chickens. Um, and all smalls, but um, oh fuck, where the hell was I? I need Island Lake. Oh, my Western Star is here too. Let me bring both them bitches back. Um, his water bottle got stuck, and I didn't catch it right away. So I think he got he got dehydrated, uh, and I caught it and I fixed it and I got him rehydrated. But I think he was just so old, his body was like in shock from dehydration. And I just couldn't get him to come out of shock. Like, he was shivering and stuff, and I just couldn't I couldn't get him to come out of it. So, But he was old. He was, like, eight, which is pretty ridiculous for, like, a domestic rabbit. So now I'm down to just Roxy. But I'm not going to get... Well, Roxy is my ferret, chat. I had... I, once I had three ferrets, but they've been... They just get old and they pass. Um, but, yeah, so now I'm down to one ferret and two dogs. But I think we're going to get chickens at some point. Probably not at this house. You can have chickens in the township that we live in, in the city. They actually allow them as long as you don't have roosters and you have an improved chicken coop. But I'd really like to have a bigger one because it's really hard to winter them. Because I feel like a dickhead wintering your chickens like in your coop because it gets so goddamn cold. I want to have like a place where I can have like power ran out to it and like that fucking tree. Are you kidding me right now? Are you seeing this chat? Um, I want to be able to have like a place that I can have power so I can have heat lamps ran constantly and like even when they're like locked up in the winter and they can't go outside they can still have an area to like roam around and stuff but yeah I love chickens my parents always had um, chickens and I always like love like training them and just watching them they're so fucking cool to watch they're so funny 
long time ago before I moved out home, my mom had, I had one chicken who her name was Honey and I, she would literally come when she was called and I could put my hand down and she would like step on my hand and I could hold her up like a fucking hawk. It was hilarious. Only for like a second because she was a big bitch. She was a big, like super big chicken. She probably weighed like 20 or 30 pounds. Your honk, dang. What's your honk trick? Scare away the bird. Or are you talking honk trick with chickens? Because then I wouldn't know it there. But yeah, she was a fucking trooper. She got attacked by our dog. And like our old dog, Blackberry, a black lab. And, it, she, he, and she like bit her from the back. So like her skin was like separated from the top of her wings on each side. Like you could see her fucking like like literally see her chicken breasts but it wasn't like bleeding and she was still alive and we're like oh hawk a couple times oh interesting i'll have to try that next time but, so we thought for sure she was a goner so we just like got her comfortable we big bertha that's awesome we thought she's gonna fucking die because they're like big wounds like they weren't bleeding but we're like she, they're gonna get infected she's gonna die but we like rinsed them out and literally they healed back completely like, it was, like, she had half of her skin tore off. Like, no shit. Like, half of the top of her skin tore off. And it all healed. And she lived for, like, another four years. And then she finally got dung in because a coyote broke it, uh, broke into the coop. And uh, finally managed to get her. But I, like, couldn't believe that. That was crazy. I've not had good experiences with roosters, though. Our first rooster, so, like, my parents had chickens for a while when I was younger, and then they stopped having them for a while. And they had them again when I was, like, 10 or 15. Not 10, I think it was, like, 12. Um, hold on, I want to go get the western stuff. We need to go up a little bit more. And the first rooster we had, I forget his name, but he was, like, black and white. He was a fucking bitchin'-ass rooster. He was really cool. He was not, not aggressive at all. He didn't crow all the time. He was a cool dude, but he got fucking eaten. He was the first chicken they got out of, like, our first group because that was the same group that we got honey with. Um, and he was the first one to go because uh, he got attacked by a, a coyote or something. Every other rooster we had after that, like, I don't know, at just some point in their life, they, like, snapped and, like, got super aggressive for no reason. Like, they'd be perfectly chill, and then all of a sudden, like, they would try to attack everything. And, like, you just can't have that. Like, my mom's a tiny lady. She was getting fucking chased around the house by a fucking rooster with, like, three feet, three inch spurs. So we either gave him up or had to butcher him. But... but I guess that's just a thing with roosters. Sometimes they just snap and they get hostile for no goddamn reason. It's really weird. chicken jump on my dad's challenger and it got thrown out of the garage so <laughs> that's kind of hilarious and where are you at i'm bringing my other trucks back I told you that other trucks oh from um yep from um my white western star and the uh, fleet star because i figured worst case we'd need that goddamn crane that you're using so Can make fun of the game. It's gonna crash again. It's gonna be. It always fucking starts me in the goddamn Black River. So yeah, then I, I go to deploy my truck, and it's like, you're gonna deploy your truck in Black River. That's cost a thousand dollars. And I was like, no, you piece of shit. I want to do it as soon as they'll damn. 
Yep. Where I don't know is. why it always starts there. It's really weird. Okay, let's try this. Running like it had its head chopped off. Hey man, that's a thing. I've definitely witnessed that multiple times. They can run around for quite a while after their heads been chopped off. So, do I still need to worry about bringing gas down there now, or no? I still need gas for that other truck, which we need because that has the fifth wheel on it to bring those other two trailers. Like it still has like six gallons in it, but I would not trust it enough. Because it's got to bring both trailers over to the thing. I don't think it would have enough for that. Like, if I fucked up one thing, it would be a disaster. Okay, bringing the convoy back. Hopefully this doesn't break the game when I move into the... Smithville Dam. One thing I do not miss is we also had guinea hens. I had like 20 of them bitches. I fucking hate guinea hens so much. Like, I know they're really good. They eat bugs like crazy. Their fucking noises that they make are so annoying. Just, uh, wah, 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 wah. I can't even do it anymore because I've like blurred it out of my mind. But they're so goddamn horrible. And they just constantly, anything, anything that scares them, they just make that goddamn noise. Like, hold on. I gotta... Hold on, chat. We gotta... We gotta... Put fucking uh, gas in that bitch. I'm gonna get my fucking... Okay. Truck yeah, here. hold on. Hold on. We need we need chat to know what I'm talking about if they don't. Guinea hen. Guinea hen noises. Look at that. Alright. You guys ready for this shit? Whoops. My mom took me out somewhere when I was little and we had pigs and I came back to pigs. <laughs> Why guinea hens are annoying? Right here, guys. Listen to this, these fucking things. I think it's fighting a turkey. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, yo, personal gym. I've sold over 100,000 units. It uses... 100,000 units, Spire guys. Flex I would agree with that. They are oddly beautiful. Conversational pieces. <laughs> That's an... <laughs> this sound right here. When you get like 20 or 30 of them. That turkey's fucking... Oh, that's tur not a turkey. Yeah, it is a turkey. That fucking sound right there. When you have like 20 or 30 of them... Oh, we lost Facebook for a second there. They got annoyed by the guinea hens. Yeah, that fucking sound right there. Oh, my God. Absolutely terrible. Uh, what truck do you have over there right now? What kind of drugs are they on? Okay, that's not right. Game. Game. What? What the fuck is going on? Your, like, landing gear was, like, out on the truck. Okay, there we go. Now it's fixed. Except for that one. Oh, that looks real bad. Oh, that looks really bad, guys. Why are these anchors just fucked? It's like stuck in the ground. Hopefully it doesn't do that for you. Alright, whatever. So, all I care about is that you fill that bitch with gas. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put like 150 gallons in it. No, 160. 
be enough for two. 175. God, it's fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, and to answer your question, Kyle, I have no idea what kind of drugs they're on, but they sound like that all the fucking time. Literally, whenever something scares them or something, that's what they sound like. And when you have 20 or 30 of them, yeah, I tried that restore crane thing. Yeah, when you have 20 or 30 of them guinea hens together and that noise just compounds around you, uh, it's no wonder that my dad just decided one day that he wanted to just fucking kill them all. <laughs> They're pretty good eating, though. They were very good eating. They were very delicious, surprisingly. They're not supposed to be that good eating, but... I wonder if we can go this way through the shitty swamp. I'm gonna fucking try it. This is probably a horrible mistake, because I don't even have diff lock. Or nothing. But we're gonna do it. Western Star, like, only in second gear. Like, it shouldn't be way down this much. The other truck's on. I, I'm, I'm believing in myself. If I have to ditch this fifth wheel trailer, it is what it is. Because I didn't pay for it. It was just one of the ones from the map. But that fuel maintainer that the Fleet Star has, I don't want to lose, because that I actually paid for it. Oh, this doesn't look good already. Alright, low plus. Just send it. Let's go, right? Just send it. <laughs> oh no. You didn't try to go the fucking way where that uh international's buried, did you? I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, good luck. Yeah, the viewers say they believe in you too, Billy, whatever you're doing right now. Actually accomplishing the mission. Cause I'm sure it's all not. Uh, okay, I think I actually need to switch into the f my Fleet Star quick, because I bet you all-wheel drive... Oh, and the parking brake's on! Fantastic. There we go. Now all-wheel drive's at least on in the Fleet Star. That was going to be a major hindrance. That would explain why it was only getting to second gear, too, if we were pulling it with the parking brake on. Come on, SnowRunner, fix your shit. When you hook up to it and turn the engine on, maybe turn all-wheel drive on. I think it should mirror what you do to the truck that you're driving. Yes, so... I, I would agree with that. You are right, Kyle. You are current. Well, you're the only viewer that's commenting. There are other people watching. Them. They're being silent. They're silently observing my failures. Yes, you have a point. Kyle says that he believes in it. This actually isn't that bad so far. Where's that international? I wonder if I should risk it to go fucking... Do you just have to get next to that truck, Billy? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure, yeah. That might be worth it. Has it. A, I don't think it has a mission attached to it. The sass me. Hey, that's fine. Get your, get your I sass out. Worth, I don't think it's worth shit either. Well, is it worth at least enough to recover it and then sell it immediately? Probably. It's probably only like five grand to recover it because it's probably only a medium duty truck. But yeah, that's why I started to go this way because I figured maybe if I can get that and then I can also get this last upgrade over here too. Yeah, Kyle, we like sass here. Sass is a good time. You ain't snow running if you ain't being sassy. Right. And we're fucking being slow this fucking stream. Well, it doesn't help that the game keeps fucking up, but... Um, 
Yeah, well, I, I mean, that's... I'd be in Alaska on yours by now. Yeah, that was setting you back from the side of me. I mean, we basically didn't have... This entire chain of missions wasn't even done yet. Oh, God, this isn't the road, is it? Yes, it is. Like, we basically started this chain of missions completely fresh, because all these missions are locked until we finish that bridge, which is what we did last time. Oh, true. on my phone, I have a long video going on my Xbox. Hey, multitasking. What's up? I do that all the time, too. Play some Satisfactory for hours when I'm not streaming it. I usually got YouTube or something up in the background. Just hanging out, watching some stuff. Alright. So we are going to... Oh, well, that's, I guess that's a perfect time to do that, so I'm going to... We don't want that fleet star, we want this fleet star. It's hooked over here. That's fine, though. Are you telling me I can't hook up to those trees? Are you kidding me right now? Here? Wow, it really, like... Why can't I hook up to these trees? Said he would watch you stream if you were if you were streaming, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't think. I don't think I can stream stream. No, yeah, I don't think your computer is quite good enough. You could probably do 720p at 30 FPS, but I don't think I think your your internet upload would probably. I don't know. You could probably. No, you. I shouldn't be so discouraging. I bet you you could probably stream at 720p with your computer. Like not too much, not too many issues. Look at that! Ooh, hundred points too. Oh yeah, and it's a hundred percent broken too. Okay, so it's gonna cost you only twenty five hundred bucks to recover. Okay. And if I go to my storage. And it's worth almost sixteen thousand dollars. I, that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Was oh, it a highway? What is that bitch? I think it's considered a highway truck. So that's a net gain of like fourteen, like ish. Yeah, like not like twelve thousand. So that was worth it. That was worth it. No problem. It's actually, the Fleet Star is actually going through the swamp pretty fucking good, too. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. It's though. them fucking UHD 2s. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Who knew? I don't think I've ever used the UHD 2. Well, when you look at them with the, in the description, they say the fucking same thing until you, like, watch that video and, like, that dude, like, explain that they're, like, minutely different. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to know that? I guess maybe, right. does the description actually say, like, slightly better in mud or something? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I guess maybe they they think you're going to judge by Test the... Test them out. Or not that, but, like, judge by the tread pattern. Because the twos always have the most aggressive tread pattern. But it just always confuses me because, like, they're not the most expensive ones. Like, I would, I would just assume, like, if I'm looking right. at mud tires, I'm going to assume the most expensive mud tire is the best mud tire. But that's not true. It's just the most well-rounded while also being a good mud tire.
I don't want to jinx it, Billy. This swamp's actually being, even with the Western, like I'm driving the Western Star with a fifth wheel blue trailer, towing the Fleet Star that's got my like utility trailer, like the thing I just filled up on yours behind it. I'm just kind of cruising through on low plus with not even diff lock because I don't have it for the Western Star. And it's, it's going. That's good, dude. But I'm also on the path too. Like I'm actually following the road, which is shitty as it looks. I think it's still actually the better terrain to drive on through the through the map. Like it looks like it's going to be the shittiest, but I don't think it is. Okay, leave the fleet star there. We're going to switch to the fleet star. Apparently, I was fucking pulling it with the par. I was even. Hey, look at that stage complete. Oh, let me switch to my cat petitter. Oh, I still need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need Crane Boy. I have the the diff lock, Kyle. I just I got it when I was out. Like I got it with the Western Star, and it hasn't been back to the garage since then. That's why I'm driving it back right now. So I have it like there, ready to go. I just have to go to the actually go to the garage and install it. Ooh, raised suspension for the Scout 800. Woo! Already sold that bitch. Actually, with that, I got every truck and upgrade in. Oh god, game. Son of a mother, fuck. <laughs> Why the fuck is this happening so much? I usually, never have issues with it crashing. And that's not like it's like game, like it's it's game side, like it's not my hardware or anything. Oh my God, Sonner. Okay, worst comes to shove. If your truck has enough gas to get it done, it's done. Cause I got the shit on your truck. Like I got it back uh, on the. I don't think it's gonna have enough, unfortunately. It's got six gallons left. Or did you load back in already? Uh, no, I'm lo I'm loading into the game. Oh. Right yeah, it's got six gallons of gas left, and it's got a, it is rehooked up to that trailer, but it's got to drive that trailer forward. I don't know. We'll try it. Fuck. Something I found out that people are doing is they sell. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I probably should have looked because I bet you I did have upgrades for that truck and sell them. That was probably something I should have done. But I didn't. Okay. Oh, hold on. I was gonna check my mod positions. Okay, there we go. Great game. Go back in. Make sure you load in right away, Billy, because I don't want to have to miss, miss the cash for that mission. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's being such a piece of shit right now. It hasn't done this for quite some time. Like, we're just no. fucking... And it's like, like I said, it's, I don't think it's a hardware issue or it's stuff. It's definitely not a hardware issue or an internet issue. It's just a game issue. The game is just crashing for whatever reason. On the bright side, it actually fucking loaded me into the Smithville game. Hey, big dog, GCS. Thanks for following. Uh... Sorry, no, we're playing with just us on here. We're probably actually not going to go too much longer. But it's just kind of our private little co-op hardware thing that we're playing. Um, okay. Well, 
You know what sucks is the last autosave, Billy. You did not load them back onto the trailer yet. Uh, fucking course. Oh, and it's course also not. before I got that. It does give more time to talk with the other viewers. Before I even got the upgrade. Get that upgrade that I don't need anymore. Why wouldn't I want to drive down that shitty path a third time? <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Reattach. Refuel. Oh, and yeah, they're still on the side of the bucket. Yep, they sure are. Yeah, like I said, big dog, sorry too. I just. We had bad experiences, we let someone join in one time. It wasn't that bad experiences, but we just like playing with ourselves. I know this is hard for some people because this game, like, everyone wants to play co op and they don't have a lot of friends. Oh, you didn't hear what I said? Okay, I gotcha. No. Yeah, we, we play, uh, we just play us. No offense to you, I'm sure you're a great person. But we like just playing with our. our me and Billy together, like, playing. And occasionally our friend Derek, when he's not spending time with his girlfriend and not playing games, I'm gonna ask him, who would do that? Ever since he got a girlfriend, he's barely online. It's bullshit. Why can't he just be like us and just ignore his significant other and play video games anyways? No, I think I've gone down this path before. I've never gone up it because I've only gone ever gone down here in the normal playthrough, and I just baja down there with a modded truck to get that upgrade in that uh, international, and then I just recovered it. This road's not too bad though. Okay, the Western Star is almost back to the garage. Wow, I'm trying to we'll get the Fleet Star up here before it gets hooked on another tree. I feel like the, the Western Star is pulling better than after driving the Western Star for a while. I feel like it pulls better than the Fleet Star. You know, the Fleet Star has got the big engine in it already. I guess this is pulling a more loaded trailer. It still has fuel and repair supplies in it, but I wouldn't think that even this trailer loaded would be probably be about the same because that trailer is a full length fit. to not mounting trees. I mean, do plenty of that, too. Especially when you're towing a truck by and, like, look at that. Hope that doesn't get caught. That's why I usually try to winch, so, like, I usually try to winch, like, this side to that side, and then it kind of is at an angle, so then it's, like, obviously it's not now, but when I straighten back out, that should get it, like, center behind the truck better. that yeah so like usually if you do it like this like if you go across like that it, the truck ends up in the center and then it's not too bad as long as you're taking your corners you know properly the 
the steering responses is so weird. Like it, it mimics like that part mimics the truck, not the all-wheel drive and diff lock and the parking brake, but the steering on the other truck mimics it, which doesn't help a lot when you're taking corners wide. I think it should be smart enough to know to like not take the corner or cut the corner as wide as you. Like it should just be kind of an idle steer. Because that's usually where you're getting into more trouble. Because you start to take the corner wide and then you cut it with the first truck. Well, then all of a sudden the truck behind you starts cutting it and it just drives itself into a tree. Like, watch, right? Here's a perfect example right here. So I'm trying to take this corner wide. So I'm going to drive this all the way up here, but I'm going straight. But now, watch, I'm going to cut it all the way because we got to start making the corner. It actually managed to make it, but all the fleet star is cutting it. And look, now it's fucking hung up on the rocks because it decided to cut itself as hard as the western star did. Like, that's not realistic. I don't like that. I gotta fucking get in the truck and drive it up by itself and then get behind it again. But if it was acting more like a trailer, that probably wouldn't happen. There we go. Turn it off all the drive. I could probably actually turn off the other engine on the western circuit. That's especially fun when you have a tight corner right after a bridge and the truck just decides to drive off the bridge. So why the fuck not? I can take this corner without slowing down. We're gonna try. I don't think I can because I think this corner is too tight with a fifth wheel trailer anyways that you can't do it in like a one point turn anyways. We're gonna try though. So we're gonna go inside of the road, outside of the road. Oh, I... Nope, I fucked that up. I cut it too. Oh, we're good, though. I started cutting it back. I got scared of hitting that guardrail, and I cut it back too quick. It's on me. Well, apparently, also, I winched to the side of this lead star instead of the front. It's cool. that bitch taken care of finally. Prepare to get jumped into a cutscene. Hey, how's it going, Chase? Welcome from the land of YouTubes. Wow, amazing. Two things of metal beams made two whole cargo containers. I don't know where they got the sheet metal for that out of the metal beams, but it's impressive. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Michigan done here in about two seconds when Billy drags that oil rig drill over there. I mean, not done done, but the main mission done in Michigan. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy your conversation. I do feel like that's also another thing that Twitch has on YouTube and Facebook. I feel like people are way more apt to actually be in the chat in there, whereas Facebook and YouTube, I think people just watch passively. 
Hoping I didn't lose that trailer. I should probably change that winch point, but now nah, we're almost back. I think it's just way more common for people on Twitch to just hop, hop right in chat and just start talking. So you having issues over there? What are you talking about? Oh. There we go. That's... Why didn't I get the... Hopefully it just gave me money. Because th I was in the thing, so the thing didn't pop up at all. Alright, well, Michigan's done. That was pretty lackluster because I was in the menu. But yay. Woo, Michigan's done. Yeet. Yeah. That's the important stuff, Kyle. Do that homework. I never did my homework, and look what I turned out to. In my mid 20s, streaming SnowRunner on the YouTubes and the Twitches and the Facebooks to support my family. Nah, just kidding. I sucked in high school and then I joined the army and the army coasted me through to here. Long story short, just join the army. They'll pay you lots of money and give you a VA home loan, which is absolutely fantastic. And why I own my own home at 25. Alright, well that's done. The fucking Western Star has successfully made it back to the garage. You can finally put diff lock on it. Fuck you, Fleet Star. Oh. And I just crashed it into a cargo container. Yep. Into the garage. How much money does it cost, game? Oh, hold on. Did I just, like, crash the game again? Oh, my God. I think the game just crashed again, really. That's fucking A-OK -okay because I fucking completed that mission that I've had to drive down there three times now. <laughs> so. Oh, it's not. It's not crashed, but it is. It's not crashed, Look. but it is garage is broken question mark okay let me try putting the fleet star like it brought the western star into the garage but like you can't click any of the buttons like for repair or anything weird okay that's fixed now like i can't i can't retain it I'm hitting the space bar. You can see it. I'm clicking. I can't retain it. Can't customize. Can't store it. Can't do anything. I can't leave the garage. But the Fleet Star, everything works. Switch to a different garage or something. Like, switch to the one and, like, load into a different map or something. Oh, the repair thing is broken. Let's drop crashing. It's not that hard. No, the repair button's broken, Billy, because everything worked with the Fleet Star, and then I went to go... Oh, no, no, I hit... Okay. Is the truck fi is the truck physically damaged at all? Yeah, they both are. No, 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 no. Like the... Like the... Okay. Um, like suspension and, like, all yes, that stuff? Yes. Is any of it damaged? Yes, it is. It is? Okay. No, it's, I'm like, broken, so, like, look, like, I can't even... I'm hitting the up... If I switch to the other truck, I can go up and down with the controller. Customize works. Truck store. Storage. The second I hit repair, it doesn't... I can't move. And then if I use the mouse to click, it doesn't work anymore. Like I said, switch to another garage or something. Like, do something different. Yeah, like, load is, into another map. Or... Yeah, this is, something's, like, fucked there. So, that's good. But yes, I will switch... Let it reload. They're in the garage, at least, so... That is very interesting, man. That's a new one. It also... Retaining it, because I tried retaining them, too, but if I did that, it broke them, too, so... I don't know. That's very weird. Okay, so we're there. Let's go back to Smithville Dam. I'm just going to switch into the Caterpillar. 
How much does it cost Fucking. for Caterpillar? It probably is a heavy truck, so it probably costs nine grand, doesn't it? I don't know if I want to do that. We'll probably drive that back. I sacrificed my Fleet Star's entire fuel tank to your cat so that even if, like, you were to get logged out again or whatever, okay. you had gas in your... Alright, let me just see how much it would be to recover this truck. Yep, not spending five grand. We're driving back, boys. Right. But first, let me see if I can see if the goddamn trucks are fixed. Engageable diff lock. There it is. Oh, and I can get a wedge cap snort I obviously want that. I just spent the twenty five hundred bucks. Twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars, but the Western Star is now its beautiful self. Oh, you like body repaired it? Yep, I did. Oh, look at that sexy truck. All right that it's fine fleet star i don't think i got anything new and fancy for you you're already pretty set God, fun. why does this fucking international gotta be a hundred and seventy two thou what the fuck give it about five minutes and see yeah. Well, it'll probably be... It, it's pretty impossible to fuck it up unless it gets completely damaged because, like, the Fleet Star has been through a lot and it's, like, not, like, su I mean, it's damaged, but, like, I'll spend the other 2500 to fix that, too. Since we're kind of at the end of our Michigan stick temporarily and these trucks are going to be going somewhere else. What the fuck was that? Something just did something somewhere. And I don't know what. Wait a minute. It sounded like someone like joined a chat or something. But I don't know what. Because the only thing I have open is Discord. That was not a Discord sound. It sounded like a Skype call that somebody joined. But I don't have Skype on either of my computers. It's very strange. Hold on, guys. We fucked up. I have the beacons on. Uh, is there any other small missions we want to do here, quick? Uh, we got a bunch of fucking... Oh! Facebook Messenger. That's what it is. But I don't have Facebook open. I have it open on this computer. Okay, that's what it is. So those are all timber missions. Dyson Diesel's done. We have that cargo from the ship mission. With the two oversized cargoes, super order, which fucking sucks, and then the cement for the reason, which also sucks. I think that's a pretty <laughs> fair game. That's up to you, homeboy. Unless you want to fire up fucking LA, it's good. I think we can move her. I got 90,000 in the bank, so that should be enough to be able to move all of my trucks and then... Well, actually, you know what, Billy, maybe... You got, said you got Alaska almost done. Oh, we tried that. That didn't work. I was going to say, we could go into your game, get all my trucks to Alaska, and I could leave, but I forgot it doesn't work like that. Yes, it's... What do you mean? Like, since you're in Alaska already, if I joined your game, but it, we, I think we tried that already, and it doesn't... If I joined my game... You then, still have to bring them over. Yeah, you, you still have to bring them over. Yeah. Yep. Because, like, my trucks that are in Alaska right now say Alaska on them, and it won't let me... It'll, it would cost me, like, I think 3500 bucks. Per truck? Yeah, per truck. God damn. The cool thing is, for it's only one set price on that. You don't get fucked harder for oh, that's uh, kind of nice. a better truck. I don't believe. Yeah, because when I moved the P, the big ass P16 over there, I think it was still only 3500. Nice. All right. Fair enough. It's 
So yeah, as long as you got the as long as you got the bank to a move them and b equip uh, chain tires. Uh huh. Like I said, I got, I got 90,000. That should be. Because I don't feel like buying another truck right now. And I think once we get into Alaska, the contracts are paying a lot more money. Um, a little bit. You can also contracts say, are definitely you, shittier. You could also say go to fucking, just fucking, just go to Tamir. Just fucking send it. Go get, go, go get the Tega. It's the only thing that's worth it there. Get the Tega. I'm actually half tempted to go there really quick and just go get the Tega for Alaska. Because that truck's just so fucking easy to get. Like you just Because just, just, I think we priced it out before. I think it would cost... Because you have to bring... You have to, move it. you have to move a truck over there. So make sure it's fully repaired and built. Yep. Then you have like, to go get it. As gas. And I don't think the... Ta I think the Tega's broken. So I don't know if you can drive it back or not. So you might have to recover it. Which is five grand. And then you have to bring both the trucks back. Which is another six grand. So it'd be like... A little under like 15 thou To get that truck. Which is still worth it considering if you were to just purchase it outright. Like, it's still not as much money. I don't remember if it's fully repaired and refueled or not. I know you just have to go up next to it to get it. But I've always just recovered it right away because it has street tires on it. I've never actually tried to drive it back to the garage. A good street tires. Yeah. Which is probably why it got left out there in the first place. <laughs> you know, we can go to Alaska. I can always just go get the tag at whatever point if I need to. Unless you want to dump into the new Russia map with what we got. You had to repair it? Oh, you're right, Kyle. You do have to repair the Tega to get it. So that makes it a little bit more shittier. I think you have to, I think it's right now that I'm think, thinking about it, you do have to uh, repair and refuel it to get it. Right. So you'd have to buy a fucking trailer too. Yep. Oh, yep, yeah, you would. I mean, it'd still be worth it, because how much does it take? Uh, let's see. Off-road. It's going to be locked, but it should still tell us the price. Tega, where are you? Oh, it doesn't actually tell us the price. Well. God damn it. They, did they add that big fucking ape bite from SnowRunner? That came with this DLC. You have to find it in the map, don't you? Yep, you do. Piece of shit. Alright. All of my trucks, I believe, are... That's your fleet star. Hey, thank you for the like, Sabiri. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, I great, I horribly apologize because I am horrible with names. Okay. Fuck it. Let's weigh the let's weigh the pros and cons here. So we can go to Alaska, which is eh, bullshit. There's a few new trucks. Go to Tamir, which is also bullshit, but we do get the Tega. We can get some of the bigger, better trucks. Coal is just bullshit all around. You just get the fucking Ford F-10,000 in that stupid fucking Scout, weird Scout, like, B-class truck that nobody cares about. There's no, there's another one, too. You get that oh, other yeah. thing, too, that Warthog fucking thing that has, like, a crew yep, cab. that's right. Um, the Yukon 
we could go to. I feel like the Yukon probably pays the most money because there's so many missions there. And you don't have to do a ton of driving there. No, and that map's really not that much bullshit either. It's just a lot. Well, you do have to do it. It's a ton of back and forth on the same path. Yeah. But I feel like the... Here, can I go there and see what the missions are? 2,500. Stocking up. Those are all log missions. What's the actual... What's the actual one that starts the... So you have to start with that stocking up mission that only pays 2,500. And 100, because it's like the, t that's like the tutorial. Where you go and grab that fucking trailer with the thing on it. Yeah, because they're all you locked until you do that. But... Then they start fucking... I mean, they are a lot of bullshit, but where are the belt sections? Because those are the ones we do. Those belt section missions pay the the first one's eleven thousand, the second one's fourteen thousand, the third one's only eight thousand. Or sorting facilities thirty six thousand dollars. That mountaintop delivery where you bring that coiled tubing semi up there is ten thousand. The factory one's twenty six thousand. The other factory runs twenty thousand. Sewage treatment facilities twenty one. Like they fucking pay good. The fucking re reinvigorating the old mines pays forty nine thousand dollars. Price. So yeah, the fucking. And that's just on the flooded foothills map. So that map actually pays a lot. Wisconsin, over in Skansen, that, I don't know if we're ready to handle that yet, but those paper factories pay like 20 grand a piece, 30 grand. The railroad mission's only 10,000, the power plant mission's 15,000, the track mission is 16,000, and then obviously all the lumber missions. Kind of a horse apiece, but it definitely appears like Yukon probably is the. What about the new Russia map? Do you think we could tackle that bitch? Oh man, I don't fucking know, dude. That's so fucking. That map, I feel, is like so fucking shitty because that side, th like this map, really lends it to having like a lot of trucks. Their maps, they, they, they fucking pay, the missions pay pretty good. The problem is, I think we need, I, I think, no, I think we got to go to Alaska because the, the reason being is that I think Alaska gives you the best plethora of good trucks compared to all the other regions right now. Because you get the fucking... Oh, you get a shit ton of a trucks in Alaska. You get the Royal. All the yep. good upgrades are in Alaska for all the beginning trucks that we have. But you get the Royal, which is a pretty decent truck. You get the fucking A&K, which is a really good truck. You get uh -huh. the, the Dairy Longhorn which is arguably an okay truck, but you can sell it for a lot of money. You get the big upgrades, the big engine upgrade for the um, white Western star. So I think it actually is the most worthwhile to go to. All right, let's fucking start deploying these trucks up here. All right, so I'm going to start with just bring in the cat, the Chevy, and the Fleet Star. That's all I want up here right now. Alright, let's get our scout truck on. We gotta buy some fucking chain tires for it.
some watch points. I guess there's the Hummer too, which there is the Hummer, which I personally don't like, but it is a yet another vehicle to sell. And the Hummer's not very hard to get at all because I think you just have to drag you just have to drag it back to the garage, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go get start getting these watch points. I have El Hummer. El Hummer. Chat, we will probably end the stream in about another half an hour. That'll put me at 9.30 my time, and I still have a lot of anime to watch tonight, so gotta do that. Don't you fucking pff at me. You know how it is when you're into a fucking new anime you fucking like, bro. I said I just started the second season of that fucking one. It's just getting good, man. Did I ever tell you to watch The Record of the Grand Cast War on Netflix? You should check that one out, too. You'd probably like that one, too. Hey, nice, Kyle. I don't think it's that big of a game to install, either. I think it's only a few gigs. But yeah, it's called The Record of the Grand Cast Grand Crest War. Uh, and it's only one season. Uh, it's on Netflix, but I think it's like 24 episodes. But it's like, it's a good, and it's a complete story, too. Like, it doesn't need a season two or whatever like it has an ending but that's like a really good one that i like watching watching through i've watched through that one i've honestly watched through that probably as many as many times as i've watched through um uh sao like legit really. just because it's such since it's one season yeah nine gigs ain't horrible just because it's one season like you can fly through it, binging it in like a day and a half. Whereas like SAO is a fucking commitment. I still haven't finished season three. I'm fucking waiting for that goddamn. Need him to dub the second part of that third season because that's when it's supposed to be fucking good. I need to get into another like long running series anime because like all of my favorite animes are all fucking in between seasons right now or they're not dubbed I tried to get into Attack on Titan like I've start, I'm kind of starting to get into it I know it's a rough I know I've heard a lot of people say it's a rough start getting into that one at the beginning um, I started watching Sailor Moon which I do enjoy like that old school anime Sailor Moon's a good one. I suppose I could actually give Initial D another fucking try. I love that. Yeah. I've watched that more times than any other anime ever. I keep looking. I hope they get get one before because I asked. Um, so there's that pad place here in Appleton that we were telling you about, Billy, that has like the anime posters. Mm -hmm. I asked him because I think an Initial D poster would like look really fucking cool. Yeah, asked him if, and like an SAO poster and he said they were planning on getting some initial D stuff because they had like that Akira show or whatever with the speed bike whatever the fuck it's called yeah but he said they're trying to get fucking uh, initial D stuff in Ugh. so if they fucking get a poster I'll fucking buy one and I'll bring it to you so with me that's fucking awesome yeah let's go oh my god this fucking K1500 is just getting bogged the fuck down in the snow Mud. Did you put the fancy fucking shit in it? It's got chain tires on it. No, the uh, good end, like the gas guzzler pig engine. Yeah, the V8 custom or whatever. Uh huh. Yeah, it's got it in it, and it's got a snow runner transmission. It's just getting bogged down. It's the tires I think are not wide enough. Like it's not stuck, it's just not going anywhere. Or anywhere quickly, I should say. I finally made it.
right back out to the road. Yeah, maybe I'll try Attack on Titan again. And Initial D. I can't do Naruto. I just, I've tried like five times to do Naruto. I just can't get into it. I'm sorry for all the Naruto fans. It's not my fault. Oh fuck, there's a bridge here you have to fix. It's been so long since I've played this map, I've had all the fucking bridges and shit done. What does this bitch need? Metal beams time one. Fuck, I don't know if I can get around this. Without getting destroyed. Also, apparently that fucking thing is invincible. Yep, apparently that little thing is invincible. Alright. This motherfucking Hummer doesn't mess around, bro. I don't remember this thing being this thing badass. Maybe they fix it. I remember it sucking, because I remember we fixed it, and we're like, wow, this thing blows, and I sold it, and I never used it again, so. Maybe they fixed it, so it's not, it sucks, it doesn't suck as much. I think I put the snorkel on this thing. God, this fucking K-1500 is almost useless as a fucking scout with that big-ass engine in it. Because, yeah, it's got power, but it burns through fuel so fucking quick. It, yeah. It's it, not even worth having it as a scout, because you might as well just take a big-ass fucking truck. Because you're going to use the same amount of fucking gas. We need to refuel just as often. Made it over that so I can go and get this other watch point. The Royal you just have to get close to, right? Yep. Okay, so I'll go get this watch point, hopefully get the Royal. And it and it is fucking destroyed too. Is it okay? Well I'll just spend the, the royal. Money. I'll just spend the money to fucking recover it. Cause the Royal is a pretty decent all around truck. Cause that thing's all time all wheel drive, isn't it? Um I think it's I all don't believe it's all time all wheel drive, but you can't engage dip lock on that truck. It's the only downside of that whole truck yeah. is there's no engageable dip lock. Alright. Oh, Facebook just lost connection again. Weird. I don't know why Facebook does that, it just loses connection sometimes. Like we literally have not dropped a single frame or had any issues in the, with the stream the entire three and a half hours I've been going, but Facebook's just dropped and lost connection twice for some reason. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it to that fucking Royal because this goddamn K1500 can't drive through the goddamn mud. This is maximum speed. Yeah, you sacrifice, like so, chain tires, you sacrifice a lot of like Add terrain grip. But it's weird because it says in the thing that they're still excellent for mud. It doesn't make sense mm -mm, to me. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. I thought it, it, it says it, it's good for mud. They're not excellent anymore. Oh. That's why Didn't they it? drop they drop a peg for mud. I swear to God, it used to say that they are both excellent in mud and snow and ice. That's very strange. They shouldn't though, like chain tires should be good in mud. I know, they should be good in mud too, I I agree. Like the only thing they're not like super good in is like real watery mud, I guess. But if it's any kind of compacting mud, like they're gonna chains are gonna be fucking better than your regular tires. Because all yeah. the gaps that all the mud can build it up and grab on each other. Because if you don't know, viewers, the more mud you get stuck to your tires, the more traction you have. Believe it or not. Okay, well, there's two sides of that, too. Because the more... Because mud tires are designed to fling mud out of the tread because the more compact mud is That's in cool. your tread, you actually lose traction. Yeah. That's why, like, boggers are made, are designed to throw the mud out of the tread wear, or whatever, tread pattern. Yes, I guess that is also true. 
so it's a horse apiece because you want to keep some in there to get traction on each other but you also want to not let it get compacted so you're not rocking with super smooth fucking slicks yeah I think a lot of that just depends on the type of mud that you're in too if it's like real thick mud or if it's more like soupy watery mud oh my god this truck is going so obnoxiously slow to get this watch point. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna be here for a while, guys. Yep. Oh, is that the big engine for the Western Star? I don't think so. Is that the Western Line V16? I'm pretty sure that's the big engine for the Western Star. We'll check that. I didn't bring it up. Let's just fucking check on that quick since this fucking truck's not going anywhere, clearly. <laughs> oh, it's the Westline V6. That must be the big engine for the, um, for the twin steer in the, um, uh, the twin steer and the P16 and stuff. I bet you that's a big engine for that. On. We Possibly. Can, we can check that right now if I just go to the truck store. Who cares about chain tires? Use mud tires if you want. <laughs> it's almost worth it to use fucking mud tires. I would agree with that. But on those, I've gotten fucked trying to haul a trailer up a goddamn Depends road. Depends. The so if it if there's an incline with the ice and you have a load. You have no fucking chance with non non ice tires. Yep. But if it's like That's... level ground and snow and mud and shit, yeah. and not just like straight ice, then you're better off with. That's the only downside to using mud tire, because I can actually show you right on this map, right? Is it this one or is it this one? It's this one, going up this way right here to whatever fucking map that is. I forget what map that is. This little swirly right here is fucking absolute bullshit. If you don't have train tires, you're fucked. Hard. Ooh, yeah, I can get the new fucking roof rack. All right. Q1500, you need to fucking get your ass off this goddamn thing. stuff for that level up i unlocked the big ass roof rack for the k1500 that i can't install because i'm fucking driving it right now that would really help that would really help out with all the fucking fuel i'm using Fucking Royal, there's the upgrade. I don't have a lot of gas, so we're just gonna kinda go for it and hopefully I get that so. Oh my god, I can't even get any speed going downhill. You know, a truck I really miss for exploring in Alaska now is that goddamn Con Marshall that you start with with the fucking DLC. Because that bitch yeah. is wide fucking mud tires that has actually worked pretty fucking good in the snow. This 
is fucking ridiculous. We gotta get a fucking royal and an upgrade yet. And you got 13 liter gallons left. So let's do this. You know how far fucking 13 gallons would get you, even with a tuned V8 custom that is a gas guzzler in this fucking truck? Like 250 fucking miles. But for some reason in this game, it's barely going to be enough to get this fucking upgrade in this truck that's right around this goddamn corner. Yeah, that's the one thing that I think they, like, underrated is the scout trucks. Like, yeah. in real life, this type of mud with those, like, crazy aggressive, like, mud terrain tires would shit on half of this, like, terrain. Yeah. But, like, they make it act like it's, like, glue, even with those type of tires. that and like just the fuel consumption in general in this game is really fucking there you go 20% you're getting there I feel like it's real low. like if I were to do it I would make the because it's it takes just to like you lose fuel just fast enough that it's something that you have to constantly be worried about right. I would make it way more long lasting so it's something that you forget about You know what I mean? Like, make it so it, they're not using as much fuel so you so make players forget that they need to watch it, and then you get way more of those off oh, fuck moments. I have, like, a gallon left. Right. Like, I actually would prefer that. And, like, make it not as obvious, too. Like, make it so you have to, like, go into, like, a special menu to, like, look at your fuel or remaining gas or like go into first person mode and have to look at the gauge to like make it easily forgettable I feel like that's yeah you get those branches they caught you don't you need that hunter brush guard that's what the point of that hunter brush guard is for also, game, these fucking branches would never stop an entire 1500 series truck from driving through here. I no, that. no, that's right also the, bullshit. Right the fuck now. That fucking branch would snap the fuck off and not even slow the truck down. Oh, fuck. But, like, because, like, I know I never actually got you into Farming Simulator with all of the bullshit with the mods that we tried to do, but... That was the thing in Farming Simulator, like, your tractors and stuff had fuel, but, like, they used it at a, um, oh, it's all-wheel drive for the other Caterpillar, so I could actually sell that upgrade. But they used it at a realistic, like, pace, so you wouldn't really think about it, then all of a sudden you're in the middle, like, plowing a field in the middle of nowhere, and then you're just fucking out of gas, and you're like, well, that fucking sucks. left and get ourselves a royal I can see it over there guys can we like limp our fucking truck over there with a winch oh boy yes. oh, I agree Kyle I love farming simulator and I tried to get Billy to play it with me with a bunch of mods and unfortunately that game does not have any kind of like like what SnowRunner has like when you try to join the game you just accept all the mods and download them uh, you have to like manually install them all and that's one of those games where I had like a bajillion mods because it's a lot funner with a bajillion mods 
and me and Billy just got way too frustrated, and we never actually played a co-op. Never, we never even got a chance to get into it and play it. And I wanted to do it again with Farming Simulator 19, but that game sucks so much. So, yeah, I was gonna say 2022. That's gonna be. I think we'll definitely probably do like a hopefully do a co-op playthrough. Level 24, bitches. Alright. I did get to the royal. Um, so the royal is worth 60,000. I don't have any upgrades for it. Royal, I think you're getting sold. But we have $122,000, which, and we're almost done with the stream, because you know what that means, chat. We're going to buy a new truck. Since we already got most of our trucks here, we don't need that much money. So let's take a look. We're going to turn mods off because we, oh, that's right, you can't actually do that. So we're not buying any modded trucks to our max level so basically skip all these trucks and let's see what we got for options so we're gonna get the a oh, that's a modded a and k we don't need that because we already have oh shit hold on yes thank you i'd have to pay for it though okay so that does double the fuel Okay, so we got big rag. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, that's good. I believe, I bet you, I can. Oh, but I can't. Mm. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about that because I don't know for sure. Because it didn't say it actually worked with this truck. It said it only worked with the 681. So, can't do anything with that. All right, let's go back to the truck store and see what's going on. All right, so we're not buying any of these because they're modded. I'm not buying that because it's pretty much the same thing as this. We already have that. I'm not buying a fucking Kodiak. I could buy a Brigadier, but that is a huge fucking chunk of our money right there. That would leave us with, basically, we wouldn't be able to customize it at all. Like, would not be able to customize it because 20 grand's not much to run the game on. I don't want a GMC. We already have two fleet stars. Can't afford that. I could get a pay star, but I don't think that truck is worth getting. Don't want that. Don't want that. Mod, mod, mod. Can't afford the Navistar. I already sold the... The P12 would be nice to get. I know a lot of people shit on this truck, but I actually enjoy the P12 quite a bit. But we don't have the big... We have one engine for it. We do have all the tires unlocked. Oh, wait. Oh, one good thing. Um, and it, we don't have to... It comes with all-wheel drive already, so we don't have to buy that. So that truck's pretty good because you don't have to spend that much. We just sold the Royal. I'm really leaning towards saving up just a little bit more and getting the P12. Because we don't have a big heavy duty because we sold the P16 right away. I also would not mind the 49X. Because also another truck that everyone shits on. But I actually enjoy quite a bit. Alright, I have a lesson star. Uh, twin steer is junk until you get all wheel drive in the big engine. ANK we're going to get here. Oh, fuck. I forgot you get, we get the Caterpillar on this map too. Yep. Is that just to find it one? Uh, You... Had to repair, refuel, and drag it down to the lumber mill. It's really not that it's bad. Really not that bad. That's going to be good just for the fact, because that truck's worth a lot of fucking money. I'll probably sell that, but... So we're going to get a lot of money from this map, because we'll keep the ANK, we're going to sell the Cat, and then we'll probably sell the Dairy Longhorn, too. Yeah, the Dairy Longhorn's a piece of shit. I hate that car. Truck. I just don't... I actually don't think there's a truck I want to buy right now, guys. I think we need to save up for either the P12 or the 49X, because those are the only kind of trucks that I want. The P12 probably is more worth it. The 
49X is so I enjoy the 49X so much. How much is the 49X? 49X is a hundred, hundred and forty thousand. Oh damn! Almost that's close enough to the fucking that new international. It is no, the, the new international is a fucking hundred, hundred and seventy-two thousand. Bitch is expensive. Okay, so I think we're just gonna hold off for now, and I think the P12 is gonna be our best investment, and then. Hopefully with the money that we make from selling the cat 745C and the Dairy Longhorn 3194, we'll be able to buy the 49X. So, I guess I bit my tongue. I guess we're not going to. Um, did you actually? Oh, that's your Hummer. Okay, I'm going to go get my Hummer really quick because I'll be able to fucking sell that bitch. Uh, we're not gonna rock. We're just gonna rock. We're literally gonna rock the truck just like this. Because we're not going up a real icy incline, and I think these are gonna be better in this time, so. We'll get the Hummer so we can sell that. And that'll probably be the end of the stream. Because as I said, I have an animated lot. I don't know why you snicker at that so much, baby. It's funny. Is it funny? Because you're the same. Sure, goddamn is. It's 2021. I can proudly declare that I like anime. All right? It is funny to say, Ben, that I do have enough Miatas for us to go Miata cruising when you get here too. It is true. I was thinking about that. <laughs> the real question is. You gonna let me drive the new one or the turboed one? Cause that's the real testament to which one you like better. Not necessarily. They they have completely different characteristics, and you'll see that when you drive both. Yeah. Yeah, like they're like they're they both have the essence of Miata, but when you drive each of them, they have such different attitudes. It's so funny. Well, that's also probably like a brand new car worth versus like almost over almost 10 year old car oh no my stack fuck I don't know if I were that too but like just the uh, a naturally aspirated engine to the turbocharger they just act like completely different it's just hilarious fuck. both a blast though I thought we would be able to make it through here. God damn it, the fuck this bullshit snow runner, the fucking hitbox for this is bigger than the pipe. I would definitely be able to go underneath this, especially if we dig out the snow. Yeah, sorry Kyle, we've been going for almost four hours. Thank you for the like, bruh, bruh, ram. That's a sweet fucking name. all through here. Can we fit through here? This is, okay, this is looking a little bit more promising. There we go. There we go. Okay. We can fit through it. So, everyone remember, it's the, well, it'll have tracks through it, so we don't have to remember, but it's the one right after the hidden ninja stump. Oh my god, now I'm stuck on the fucking there we go. Are you trying to get underneath that pipe because that thing's broken? Yep. I found, I found a spot. Did you? <laughs> I didn't think I forgot. I forgot about that. I because I I would have put the stock exhaust back on this truck or rebought it quick. It's a good thing I, I have like the flat cap on here and not the fucking stack stack or whatever because I think this truck can yeah. have it. Because that bitch would not have fit under here anywhere. Then this at least I found a spot. upgrade is the biggest joke to get to oh my god oh that one it's probably something fucking useless too i didn't even get this on my playthrough yet because oh. it's just such a fucking piece of shit to get up here yeah 
Well, at least now you know what it is to see if it's even fucking worth getting. Oh, it's the big engine for the Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> If you like it's, driving the Hummer, it, it probably is worth it then. It's been, it's been going through some shit. You should remember to recover your Hummer before we get off Philly so you can install it and get it for free. Because I think you can still do that. You can install it because you got a free one from getting that, even though you won't have it unlocked in your game. Is that how that works? I'm pretty sure that's how it used to work. Two grand to recover this one. Well, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Like I said, we're, we're probably about to. I'm just gonna get the Hummer back and. Sure is freaking shit. Yeah. yeah, I can because yeah, but if I switch back to my game, it wouldn't work. Yeah, but if it's installed already, you just don't don't fucking uninstall it on accident, because then you're fucked because it'll be locked again. But. Because it bumps it all the way up to it bumps it up two bars and it doesn't sacrifice any fuel consumption. Let's go drag this fucking Hummer's bitch ass out of the water and back through all that snow bullshit again. Wow, the Hummer's badass, because if you get the other engine, the 6.2, I guess T, I guess turbo, I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, fucking LS3 turbo, I guess, guys. Um, it does an S power to weight and still keeps an S fuel consumption. So it's way better than the K1500 in terms of like... Because fuel consumption on the uh, K1500 is like through the roof. Oh, I guess it only changes it. It only makes it one different, but that yeah. makes a difference. Wow, you're just gonna forget about me by ending this stream? I won't forget about you, Pat. I won't. It'll live in my heart until the next time we stream. This is the wrong way to go. The Live in My Heart is probably one of the like five people that probably rewatch uh, the uh, streams that are just on YouTube of all the hard mode ones. I have a few. That's like I think the only actual series I have on my YouTube that people actually come and watch. Like I know Billy even watches that. Are you more important than, than Billy? I mean. In the grand scheme of things, no. But at this time, yes, you are. Because Billy is one of my best friends. Dearly best friends. Aww. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that bitch better not be. Get stuck on that tree. A safe answer would be, Kyle, I appreciate you more than Billy, because when's the last fucking thing Billy's done anything for me? Not anytime soon. I shouldn't say that. Billy does, what I was actually getting through saying before you said that is, I know Billy supports me quite a bit on my YouTube, because I know he re -watch, even though he's played the game with me, I know that he re-watches the streams on YouTube a lot. To like, get my, to get my perspective. Which is more than a lot of my other friends do. I even watch the ones when like, you play by yourself, like when I'm not there. Yeah. So. Well, good. I'm glad I'm making you laugh. Uh, I don't think, barely, I think Kyle and Trevor are the only other friends that are fucking... It's really funny, because I have my friend Willie, or Vicious Toddler, who we play with, who gives me shit, because I don't like his... Because he's a musician, and I don't like his fucking songs on spotify and stuff because i don't want them in my playlist um but he doesn't and he's like i support you he doesn't he's not even subscribed to my fucking youtube so does he really oh what a what a nice guy kyle said he would never get in the middle of our friendship what a, what a gentleman what did he say do he said he'd never get in the middle of our friendship oh <laughs> Is it this stump that we turn? It's the next stump that we turn on. Where are your tracks in the fucking snow? I should tell you. I, that's what I. That's what told me. 
I already forgot which stump it was, but I see the tracks. Oh my god, this is so slow. But still faster than the K1500 somehow, so I'm not going to complain that much. What if I put it in high? Nope. Auto. Nope. Low. Nope. Low plus. It's all the same speed. You can only get 65 grand for the cat. The, like, articulating caterpillar? Oh, wow, that's kind of lame. Well, I guess it's half price. But are you sure it's not a relationship? I mean, it's not a gay relationship, but it's a friendship relationship. Friendship's a relationship. Technically, any interaction you have with any person on the planet is a relationship. It's just what kind of relationship is it? Right. Be considered a platonic relationship. Oh. is a piece of shit. It's worth money, man. Right? I hate that truck. Oh, the Hummer actually works. I have it on right oh, now. Oh, Ben, I can buy I can buy both of the Freightliners. Okay, so we're going to do this, Chad. We're going to pull it up like this, and then I'm going to drive through, and then I'm going to reconnect to it because we're not going to make that corner otherwise. Billy, did I tell you about my... So, so it's like I'm trying to find more friends like locally here so we can do like game nights again. I told, I told Melissa this because it was fucking hilarious. So I found this app because I'm like... Because you, know, you always talk like, oh, there should be an app for finding friends, like finding, like, Tinder or whatever, right? So I found this fucking app, and I forget what the hell it's called. But it's all about platonic friendships. But it, like, extremely stresses the fact that it's only platonic and not used for dating or whatever. Like, it makes you sign this whole agreement. If you want to verify your profile, you have to literally write out a sign in, like, marker with you in the picture with a picture of like currency and say that I will only use this for non-platonic relationships like it's like overtly stretched and it makes it feel super awkward like I deleted the app because of that because I'm like like I understand that's where you're going for but it feels weird when you like stress it and they're like we have a bot that monitors all chat and anything that's would be construed as non-platonic uh, will get you like banned and whatnot. Like I'm oh like, my yeah, God. like, are you kidding me? Yeah, and like I didn't really. I found I like made enough to make a profile, and like there's not a lot of people that have it. And it's like most of the type of people that have it are not the type of people that they're like the fucking SJWs, like that kind of people that fucking have it. So you're probably not going to be want to fr be friends with them anyways. Like all their profiles are like. They have, like, super strong political views and everything. But I regret it because I found... So there's this fucking chick that lives in... She lives on the other side of the state. But she's married, or it has a fiancé. Um, but she's looking for a friend, and, like, she sounded like... They sound like they're the coolest fucking couple you'd ever want to hang out with. So... Her fiance is a fucking like major geek nerd, like programmer dude, like gamer dude. Hey, what's going on, Juan? Uh, she's a fucking blacksmith. Like a legit, like makes fucking swords and shit blacksmith in her spare time. I'm like, that's so fucking cool. I think for the like, yeah, uh, Juan. Um, yeah, she fucking makes sword and shit, and she's, like, super into, like, fantasy and D&D &D and stuff. Um, oh, God, we might have fucked up, guys. We got this kind of fucking suck. And I'm like, that sounds like literally the coolest fucking couple that you'd want to hang out with. Like, and I showed Melissa that. I'm like, these people seem so fucking cool, but they live on the other side of the state. Billy, I might have fucked up here. I might need help. How'd you fuck up? I somehow, I tried to cut through to get to the road, and somehow I wedged the fucking, I think the caterpillar is like wedged behind trees. The tire's like freaking the fuck out. Uh. Fuck. 
<laughs> the only trucks I have here, the, or the, well, because they're out in the maps on my other game, oh. are the K1500 and the Hummer. Um, I hear I can I can probably get one of my trucks out quick. Yeah, if you get something out, I can drive it over to you and help you. I have to see how fucked you have this. It doesn't look like it'd be that fucked is the problem. I don't know why it's being so fucking... Uh-oh, we lost Facebook. Oh, Facebook's back. Again, I don't know why. Facebook just disconnects randomly. That's super weird. Oh, you're getting there, Kyle. Like, you see what I mean, Billy? It feels like it's fucking, like, caught. On something, but I can't get it to fucking move at all. I don't understand. It's very, very strange. Excuse me. I was kind of hoping you'd hop into it and it just fucking yeet itself out of being stuck because it was like glitch. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this snow. It's like... I mean, I know it's buried a little bit, but like, I don't know. All right, I'm coming with my fleet star right now, but yeah, it's like... It was just really weird because, like, I was driving through it fine, and then whatever happened to it, it got caught. It, like, dead stopped. And, oh, he managed to back it up at least. Yeah, I guess try to drive it out another way, and then I'll, I'll see if I can just grab the Hummer. Yeah, because that... I came through there, like... If you go, like, a little bit farther up is where I came through the first time. The snow on this bitch is just like so thick yeah. on Alaska. It's just fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Sounds good, Kyle. You have yourself a good night. Have fun in shul. Back to shul. Back to shul. I don't know the rest of the song. I hope I don't get in a fight. Back to shul. I haven't seen Billy Madison in a very long time. Watch that movie again. The Doyle rules. Got the hammer. Yep, I got it. fucking hop in there what's going on uber phone yeah it's been a minute i haven't been live in a minute i basically took the whole fucking last week off because i had friends over all memorial weekend and last week was a fucking bitch i streamed mass effect on friday though and snow runner's hard because if i want to play with dodge viper we can only really play on like sundays or tuesdays Sounds good, but no, I'm I'm getting off like right now, so but I appreciate it and I appreciate that. I appreciate you man. But no, I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm getting off. So I G now. that Hummer H2 customize fucking sell that bitch 
<laughs> you sell them, Armor. Yeah, I'm selling all the upgrades first, so. How much is it to sell? <sighs> Actually, I'm not going to sell it because it's only worth nine grand. <laughs> So, Might come in handy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm not. I sold the upgrades for it, but um, I'm gonna keep it for now because I don't think at that price it's not worth fucking selling. Especially if it is that much better than the K1500. Too bad I just fucking sold all those upgrades. Ooh, that's expensive. All right, that's fine. NBD. All right. Oh, God. Facebook is just shitting out left and right. I'm sorry for whoever's watching on Facebook. I don't know why it's shitting out like that. Being dumb. Uh, thank you, one of my mods, for liking the stream. Which is why it said I liked my own stream. Because they were probably under the mod profile. I appreciate it, whoever you were. You're a mod. All right, let's look at our stats. So we... We did a total of 1,820 experience. We made $12,500. We only competed two missions. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Well, duh, because it, the game crashed. Yeah. Fucking doy. Four, four fucking times. Yeah. Uh, we got four upgrades, though. We drove 5.4 miles and received 36 points of damage. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope everyone has a fantastic evening. Uh, as a reminder, if you want to catch any of the previous streams, Facebook is no longer storing them, all, although I believe that all of the streams of this playthrough are still on Facebook because they haven't expired yet. But all of my other content is on my YouTube channel. Link is in the description. I would appreciate it if you go check it out. Like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Great evening. Goodbye.